Uh, hello. I see the mic still works. I, I actually did test most stuff before I started streaming. <laughs> just because I haven't used it in a bit. But uh, you never know. Some things just don't want to work sometimes. That's how, I mean, you know how computers are. You can test something over and over again, and then when you actually have to use it, it doesn't work. So, uh, we're playing some Final Fantasy 3. Not to be confused with Final Fantasy 3 on the Super Nintendo. That's actually 6. Just a quick uh, info drop on that if anyone, hasn't, isn't, if anyone isn't familiar with the series. In the US, at least, North America, I'm assuming, um, we never got some of these. We got Final Fantasy 1 on the NES, and we got, we got 4 and 6 on the Super Nintendo. But they renamed it 2 and 3 to not confuse us. Then Final Fantasy 7 came out. Instead of renaming it Final Fantasy 4, maybe banking on the fact they, re they, would, they would finally release the other ones we didn't get eventually, they kept it 7. So we had 1, 2, 3, and 7, which is actually 1, 4, 6, 7. Uh, while Final Fantasy V was very popular when emulation became a thing, that's how I first played it. Final Fantasy III did get a fan translation, but I never played it. And as far as, I mean, fan translations can be hit and miss. So, I don't know, maybe I was just, I kind of was banking on like an actual release. Then we got, finally, back in like 2008, I forget when the game came out. We got Final Fantasy III on the DS, which is actually a kind of a different game. It's the same game. But they redid some of the classes. They made it 3D, obviously. I mean, it's on the DS, not the 3DS. What I mean by 3D is it's like polygons, not pixel. They also gave the characters names and personalities and dialogue. This game goes back to Final Fantasy 1 style, where your characters really don't speak. They have like some throwaway lines, but they're, they don't have much of a personality and you can't even tell who's talking. <laughs> it won't show the name. It's just kind of like flavor text. So basically, it's like Final Fantasy 1 again. I did find it odd. They would go from Final Fantasy 1, a game that has no dialogue pretty much, like your characters don't speak, they have no personalities. You give them, basically you can kind of like role play it. They go to Final Fantasy 2, where characters do have their own personality and story and names, and then go back to that one style in 3. This game is the first time a Final Fantasy game did a class system or job system. It's fun. Fives is better, but this game is still fun. I do know there's some changes to the Pixel Remaster version. I believe some of the classes have been balanced. In original Final Fantasy 3, some of the classes were just not good. Um, uh, They're probably still not great. I'm looking at you, Bard. So again, this starts just like Final Fantasy 1. You have generic characters, name them. However, you'll notice everyone, you can't change the class. In Final Fantasy 1, the class is the character. Fighter, thief, black mage, white mage, uh, uh, black belt, not monk, and red mage. In this game, you start as Onion Knights. Now, I have not played this game. I played the, three, the DS version for like, Maybe 10 hours? I didn't, I didn't even get to, like, the... I think I got to the second crystal. You know, out of four. But I have never actually played the NES version, which is what this is. So, this would be fun. Now, I get to name the characters, and I'm actually going to do something that I love to do in these kind of games that's probably going to drive some people insane, but I'm doing it. Uh, I am going to limit myself a little bit on the job system. I know some people might say, well, what's the point of having a job system if you limit yourself so much? I, I enjoy it. It's kind of like a medium in between no job system and whatever you want. I like a little bit of structure. In this game, when you get to a crystal, you unlock a number of classes. The first crystal gives you five. The second, I believe, gives you, I want to say six. The third only gives you three, I think. And the fourth may give you four... Never got that far, I'm guessing, at this point. Uh, yeah. 
so basically when the when the crystal gives you the blessing of the crystal itself, I am going to basically ch ch uh, pick each class and give it to one person. Think of it as the crystal is like making our inherent powers come to the surface. So each person can be, each class can only be used by one person. So the first crystal gives us five classes. So we're going to have, one, everyone's going to have one, one person's going to have two. I know it's going to limit me, but I just, I just like doing that for like role play purposes. I like doing it. And I have our characters as well. This will be me, but it's Final Fantasy me, which as we, as we, as we, wow, as we have established, it's Kennison. Hey, Coraline. Hello. It's Candy. <laughs> yeah, Coraline has like an exact opposite Glad schedule that I do. Team. Like when I'm waking up, he lives. her More stream is bed, ending. <laughs> And then she's going to bed when my stream is starting. But hello, Ninja. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, I'm trying to fix my sleeping schedule a little bit. The no energy thing is kind of getting to me. Having to, I'm having to sleep like 10 hours a day just to like function normally. You know, normally. I actually started using my treadmill again. Slow. I'm, 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 I actually have a, uh, actually, I'm not sure if it's open to the public or not. I think it's like by link. I actually made a spreadsheet for my, my, uh, treadmill using for the first two weeks. I only do 30 minute walks, but this week I bought, I bumped it up to 40 minutes and the next week it'll be 40 minutes at 0.5 incline. And the next will be 50 minutes at 0.5 incline and then 50 minutes at one incline. You get, you get the point. <laughs> Let me get some water. Ha. <sighs> ah. So yes, Kennison is my Final Fantasy character. It kind of happened by accident in Tactics by with a glitch in one of the mods I had installed. It was funny, so <laughs> why not keep it going? That was weird. Yes. Also, unlike original Final Fantasy 3, I believe you could only have four characters in your name. Who here has been playing video games for so long? They remember the day where your character could only have up to four characters in their name. And your name is more than four. So you have to, like, figure out a nickname or, like, just 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 crush it a little bit, get it to fit in there. <laughs> okay. At, have a good sleep. Well, that won't fit. That's five letters. So our next character is going to be Julie. So, oh, I should probably match them up by color, too. I should have asked them, like, their favorite colors. <laughs> oh, man. I should have asked favorite colors. I mean, I really don't like red, but I'm, I'm the party leader, I suppose. Although it doesn't matter. Once you get unlock the class system, uh, the color scheme only affects the Onion Knight class, the starting class. I was kind of hoping that the coloring would actually like affect all the classes. Kind of like in Final Fantasy V, where when you give everyone the same class, they still look a little different. Or like Final Fantasy X-2. Where glad to have you on the oh. team. Uh oh. Kinson Hype. Wesist Kippo Knife Wesist Calibration Time Wesist Kippo Knife Wesist Welcome Aboard Wesist Kippo Knife Wesist Shepherd No Wesist Kippo Knife Wesist Nolarens Wesist Kippo Knife Wesist Kippo Knife Wesist Kippo Knife. Why did it pronounce it that way? It's called it's Shepherd Nod, but all I heard was Shepherd No. <laughs> Then Remnant, thank you for resubbing for the 26th month, 24 month streak. Okay. So, um, also anyone wondering, I am 
playing another. I'm actually starting a new game tomorrow. And by the way, I should have mentioned this before. I have a new goal for 2023 when it comes to streaming. Well, I, I want to have a few goals, but one of them in terms of what games I'm playing is I want to play new stuff. I want to I want to play new games I, or at least games I never beat. Basically, the tier order is like games I never played, games I never beat, or games I've only beaten once and it's been like a decade since I played it. And I barely remember the game. That's kind of like the tier list of like what I want to focus on. And of course, they'll always be my annual Mass Effect playthrough. How could I not do that? Which, by the way, I was talking to some people uh, like over the last week. I think my next annual playthrough of Mass Effect is going to be a, a renegade one. And when I say renegade, I mean, uh, maybe like a maybe like a Brock Shepard type playthrough. It was a fun playthrough and I haven't done it in a while. So. So, yeah, uh, tomorrow we're starting a game called Halcyon Six. I did play the first hour just to kind of get a feel for it. The other space games I'm playing after that, I have barely played or have not touched at all. Like the one after that's going to be Crying Sons. I have never played that. I have seen a trailer for it and I played the first like two minutes, which was just dialogue to uh, get a feel for like, well, basically uh, tw uh, check the audio. And since there were no sound effects, I probably have to tweak the audio a little bit. But uh, because in that game, you can actually name your party members, your your ship captains that you have on the team. Halcyon 6 is a very weird game. It's a roguelite. By the way, I never actually knew the difference between roguelite and roguelike. And you want to know the difference? <laughs> I'm teaching. I'm teaching a lesson today. My lesson for the day. Uh, there, it is two different things. Roguelike is what you think it is. You start the game. It's there's RNG, and you die. That's that's kind of the that's kind of like the, the short version of it. A game where you start, things are randomized. Maybe you can pick between characters, or you can't, whatever. Like, like, and like an FTL is a roguelike. Or is it? Oh, man, technically it might be a roguelite. The reason why it's called roguelite is because unlike a roguelike with a K, you have something that carries over to the next playthrough to make it easier or to make it different. Technically, FTL, you unlock other ships by playing it. It's a tech and that are better than the usual old ships you start with normally. So technically, it might be considered a roguelite. Uh, uh, Nuclear Throne also should be considered a roguelite because you unlock characters. But those characters are arguably not better than the starting ones, but you still unlock new stuff. So technically, it might be a roguelite. Hmm. Halcyon 6. Ooh, I actually don't know. I haven't beaten the game, so w when you fail and restart, I'm not sure if you unlock anything. So Halcyon 6 might be a roguelike. Anyway, semantics, who cares? It's a game. Genres don't have to define it like it's just it's a game, uh, but it's a weird combination of a roguelike slash light and an RPG. If anyone here has played the games I mentioned, FTL, in, like Into the Breach, uh, Nuclear Throne, like a rogue legacy type of game, it doesn't take that long to die. <laughs> like you can beat those games in like a couple hours. Nuclear Throne, if you're fast enough, you could do it like 20 minutes. And if you die, you reset. Not a big deal, right? You just keep doing it. Uh, Halcyon 6 takes like 15 hours. But it's a roguelite in a sense that you can die. You can fail. There is no reset. Like you just you run out of resources. You run out of captains, you run out of ships. You're just dead. You can't win. And you restart. That's that's a long term rogue game. But in any way, that's a sorry. The tangents. That's what I do. Welcome to tangent stream. In that game, you can name your people. So in this game, I wanted people that on the team that like Final Fantasy that know Final Fantasy, that have a good direct link to Final Fantasy. It's like, yeah, that makes sense. And then other people who are more into space stuff and not JRPGs can be on the Halcyon 16. 
Actually, obvious pick for, for Final Fantasy team. Also, Aura. Uh, he is the one who introduced me to the series. I mentioned that story where someone showed me Final Fantasy VIII for the first time. And the only RPG I played before that was Pokemon, and I thought that was just what Pokemon was. It was its own thing. Didn't know it was an entire genre. I know it's a little different, but... So yeah, we'll put Aura in there. Also, he has beaten just as many Final Fantasies as me, I believe. I have not beaten three or five. He has not beaten... I want to say eight and ten. He showed me eight, but he never actually beat eight, I don't think. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I think he hasn't beaten eight, ten, ten, two, or fifteen. Eh, close enough. And we have our last spot. Mist. For uh, because mainly I know Mist from I know uh, she plays Final Fantasy fourteen a lot, but also I know she's played I think she's played I want to say seven and ten, and knows of a bunch of the other ones. Also likes Kingdom Hearts. Close enough. Like I said, in this game, I'm only giving each class to one person. Now, it's in my head. I know what you're thinking. How am I going to do this from memory if my memory is terrible? It helps that there's a connection. Remember, all four of these characters were in my Final Fantasy Tactics run. So those classes, or what's close to them, will be going to them. Oh, also, uh, Remnant, you mentioned Chorus. Yes, it was actually on Game Pass. I actually downloaded it. I wanted to play it, and then my Game Pass ran out. So, <laughs> I never actually got to it. I know it's on sale right now. But I also know it's one of those games where you just beat it once and you're kind of done with it. So I'm not sure how much it is. I have to, like, prioritize. I just, I bought some games on sale. You know, that uh, Steam was having a sale. Humble Bundle was having a sale. I bought some games. Yay, more games to add to the list. <laughs> hey, they're all new. Remember, 2023, the year of new games for me. New to, new to me. Not necessarily new. All right. So we have our team. Kennison, Julie, Aura, and Mist. 14, 1479. Hmm. I just, I spent so much money. Plus, I'm now going to have to spend money at the dentist. Yay. I have a dentist appointment on the 8th, my birthday, actually, in eight, you know, nine, ten days. Uh, by the way, birthday stream is on the 11th on Saturday. I still haven't fully decided what I want to do with it. Of course I haven't. I have an idea. It's just going to be laid back. It's going to be like a 10 to 12 hour stream. I'm not doing a 30 hour stream again. <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, I am doing shorter streams to get used to it again. Probably for the first couple weeks, the streams are only going to be like four to five hours long. And then I'll increase them from then, from there, and then start adding, and then add in the Saturday stream as well at some point. Which I know what I'm doing with Saturday streams. I have an idea for that. It's going to be fun. Let me get to it. Anyway, um, I have to pay for the dentist appointment, but I also have to... <laughs> uh, Two days ago... I was uh, flossing and uh, part of a filling came out. It just popped out. I it actually popped into my sink. I, I I did the floss thing and it was just like pop. And I was like, what was that? And I looked at my sink and I was like, what's oh, <laughs> oh, come on. So there's like a chunk of my tooth missing. Doesn't really hurt that much, though. I'm hoping they'll just say that it's fine. Maybe they could just buff out the rough edges and be like, ah, it's fine. There's no exposed nerves or anything. There's no, like, exposed tooth enamel or like whatever underneath. It's just like, ah, it's fine. <sighs> the problem with my back, I used to grind my teeth when I was younger. <clears throat> and my back teeth have several, like, surface fillings. And over the years, I had to get them redone because they were, like, crappy silver fillings. And now they're, like, better ones <clears throat> the ones that look like look like tooth and they're like tougher more resilient 
But uh, because they're all surface fillings, basically the uh, majority of the surface of most of my back teeth are just like filling. And because of that, sometimes they just chip off the edges. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ninja did change to uh, the color from a blue to a, um, would you call that a, what color would you call that? A, a salmon? Maybe, maybe a salmon? Hmm. By the way, streaming for 20 minutes, haven't started the game yet. Ah, things are back to normal. Into the silence, one of the Gulgans prophesized the great earthquake was only the beginning. What's a Golgan? The tremors tore the land asunder. The crystals, sources of the world's light, were swallowed into the depths as monsters emerge. I can't read that fast. Yet that was nothing compared to the catastrophe to come. This guy looks like a superhero. <laughs> Something fathomless, ominous, and laden with sorrow looms on the horizon. But hope is not yet gone completely. Four souls will be blessed with the power of light. And so it shall begin. Get here, cursor. Four orphaned youths raised by Topapa in the rural village of Ur were out to test their mettle. Topapa's definitely a Lalafil name. They came across a cave, one of the very same that formed when the crystals were lost to the earth. What started as a simple game of exploration became so much more. It's a it, there's a bot there's a, just a pile of skeletons in a hole. <laughs> Why did we go down the skeleton hole? Hey, skeleton hole. Ouch. Looks like we fell through a sinkhole. Now what do we do? See what I mean? It's just like bodiless comp like dialogue. There's not much. This game doesn't have that much dialogue for your teammates. More than one did, which was none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I have thought about that. Most of the time I watch like a stream VOD, the first hour is just like just chatting, which is what I kind of do. So I guess it's fine. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? Maybe we can climb out. You want to go exploring? Don't be such a scaredy cat. Hey, quit squabbling, you two. We need to find a way out of here. And that's it. <laughs> Goblins. Oh, by the way, listen to that remix music. <laughs> My very first attack missed. Awesome. Yay, second attack missed. Okay, we all suck except for Julie. I think Julie was the one who connected. Or what? Was it Julie? It wasn't me. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Why is the music louder than it was before? I tested this and the music was fine. Why does it seem louder now? Huh. What were those monsters doing here? We're in way over our heads. Let's get out as fast as possible. Ah, buttons. Oh, for a second I thought Switch Party member was going to be like Final Fantasy X. I was like, that doesn't make sense. There's only four people. It's on the overworld. Power Rangers. <laughs> I mean, yeah, all we're missing is the Yellow Ranger. Depends on what version of Power Rangers you're talking about. Green was the sixth ranger to start, but then a main ranger in Zeo. And then Turbo. And then in space, it was just gone. Huh. Right, first off, why is this... Why does the sound seem louder than it was? Oh, that's why! Why did you reset? It was down to 85. And these were down to four. What just happened? Why did my audio settings reset? 
I, I looked at this yesterday and the audio settings were fine. Ugh. Square Enix. Ooh. Ooh, leather shield. I'll take that because I'm frail. By the way, um, there are 21 classes in this game, which means if I was smart, I would have given each character five and one six. But in the end, it's actually going to be five, four, what's well, going to be five, six, four, six. It works, though, because some classes in this game become obsolete later. The characters that have five and six have two characters that become obsolete or even three sometimes while the character who only has four, only has one class that becomes obsolete. So in the end, everyone has like three viable classes in the end game, except for me who has none. My character sucks. My character was the worst character on the team in tactics. To continue that trend, my character is also the worst on the team in this game. Because if you look at what classes I'm giving me, which we'll know by the end, I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, Basically, everyone's character is based on their Final Fantasy Tactics character that, that was on the team. My character is a combination of that character and my 14 character. So you'll see what classes I give them. Huh? What is it? There's something strange about that rock. Now that you mention it, it's not a boulder. It's a rock. A rock. Yeah. That's better. Bum bum. 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 Bum I'll give it to Mist for no reason in particular. Might be a hint as to what class I'm giving her. Ooh. Uh, two gas bags and an eyeball thing. Eyeball brain. That's a carbuncle? <laughs> what happened to carbuncle? It's like carbuncle got the Baxter Stockman treatment. He's just, they're just a brain in a jar with an eyeball. Potion. Ah. <sighs> nice, relaxing music. Oh, I did play one game off stream. Also, another goal of mine for this year is to pick an off stream game for me to play for fun. I kind of fell into that thing where I didn't want to play anything off stream because I wanted to save it for on stream. And I was like, no, <laughs> like just just I, on my list of games, which there's a link to it in the discord server, by the way, I color coded all my games. Uh, blue is play off stream. Now I could finish it and then stream it later, or I could decide not to stream it. Whatever. The game I did was uh, Tales of Arise. It was fun. I got all the achievements on Steam. By the time I finished the game, I was only missing like six, so I just went for it. Look, it's a spring. Yeah, but why is it an odd color? Let's take a sick shot. Who said that? Who said that? It's me or Mist. Hey, that color looks, hey, that, that water looks weird and has a weird color to it. I vote we drink it. <laughs> Just in terms of intelligence level or chaos level, it's either me or Mist. You can guess which character has the intelligence issue, which has the chaos. I'm not too sure about this. Didn't even have a chance to drink it. Here, since we have no abilities and we're just hitting A at this point, let's just let's just speed it up. Bum, 
bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, bum. Oh, level ups, which are fine. Uh, just HP at this point. Now, if I remember correctly, um, some JRPGs work differently than others. Like, for example, Fire Emblem games, for the most part, your level ups are dictated, your stat ups are dictated by your class at the time. This game doesn't do that. Except for HP, I think. If you, f if you have a character and you get them to level 98 as a, f as a knight, and then you switch them to Black Mage and, you know, I don't know why I said 98, 99 also works. If you have a character you level up as a warrior the entire game and then switch to Black Mage, they'll be just as good as a Black Mage who was a Black Mage the whole time. As far as I understand this game's mechanics, the only difference is the warrior character will have more HP. So technically, if you want stronger characters in the end game, you want to swap to characters that have high HP stats. I believe it's stamina. Maybe Viking. I think Viking. I think in this game they gave Viking the highest HP growth just to give it a use. Otherwise, I think Knight's just better. Viking is the tank of this game and has a move that's basically provoke. But it also has terrible magic defense, I believe. And it doesn't work with AoE magic attacks, which apparently in this game, the strongest attacks in this game are AoE magic attacks which the Viking can't help the other, the rest of their team with. So it's cons Vikings considered kind of one of the weaker classes. Now, if you're facing a boss that hits like a truck physically, awesome. Give them two shields and just stand there and provoke. Wow, I feel revitalized. Oh, wow, it actually revives KO allied too. Nice. Do, 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 do. So what's everyone been doing the last month? I've been sleeping. If anyone isn't aware why I've been gone for a month, um, I got sick with something. I don't know what. No one knows what. It's a mystery. I'm not kidding. Doctor... Uh, I, I, they never told me what, what I had. And then when I went to my follow-up appointment, the doctor was like, yeah, they didn't know what you had. They just kind of gave you a bunch of stuff. There you go. Like I went to the hospital on, by the way, I went to the hospital at 3 a.m. on Christmas. That was fun. I spent my Christmas in the hospital. <laughs> so, yeah, I've never been to the hospital before. And, and uh, uh, like, I think I went to the hospital when I was a kid, like for like an allergic reaction or something. But basically, um, they didn't know what I had. So they just like pumped me full of everything. They gave me like 10 different antibiotics. It's like, now I'm invincible. Nothing can make me sick now, right? Oh, bunch of ghastlies. But um, I was there for like only 36 hours. Um, Went home and then had a week where I just slept the whole time. And my energy levels have been like slowly getting back to normal. Well, normal. They actually did some blood work, a lot of blood work, and some test results were weird, but I was sick. So they were like, eh, we'll just try it later. My follow up appointment, uh, they took more blood tests two weeks after I was out of the hospital and two things were still off. So I'm actually going back in about five weeks from now, like five and a half weeks from today, and doing those tests again to see if they went back to normal. One of them was not surprising. Well, two of them. One of them wasn't mentioned over the phone for the reason to go back. My cholesterol is <laughs> my cholesterol was pretty high, but I was on keto. I'm not anymore. It shows because I've gained like another 10 pounds. <laughs> Yay. Uh, but yeah, my cholesterol was like through the roof, but being on keto will do that to you. On a meat and cheese. But the other number that was off was my thyroid, which is not surprising. That, that stuff is hereditary. It's also very common. Apparently, the statistic is like. It's kind of it's it's very high, like one in every like six people or something. Also, a lot of them are never diagnosed, so. 
I'll probably be put on medication for that and I'll be good. I didn't ever realize that could be an issue. I actually looked up the symptoms for that and like every single one of them is me. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, as I kept going through the list, I was like, well, this makes more sense now. Hmm. A malicious force attacks the party. Spooky. Land turtle. Here's the boss music. Hold on, this requires uh, emotes. Yeah. Alright everybody, attack it with your little tiny dagger things. <laughs> it's all we have. Oh boy. Now I could throw the Antarctic Wind. It does ice damage, and I know this thing's weak to ice. That's the reason why they give them to you. But I'm a hoarder in these games, and I kind of want to keep them. Hmm. But they will be obsolete pretty early. They only do, like, ice. Like, one equivalent. Just, like, level one ice. Eh, just use it. We'll see how much one does. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah. Why not make a vow right now in this game? After, after, I have a lot of JRPGs on my list, by the way, to play. How about let's not hoard items anymore? You know, I'm the typical player that has the elixirs till the end of the game and then doesn't use them. Let's just use stuff. Level three. Crystal power. The crystal shines brightly. Oh, I've actually seen this part of the game because I was testing the audio I, just to get out of here. Um, one thing that bugs me here is there's like just the text of what's happening. And then there's the text of the crystal talking to you. And it's the same exact color. It's just white. So it kind of throws me off. You four have been chosen. Whoa, that crystal's talking. I give on to you the last of my light, and with it, the last hope of a fading world. No pressure. As things stand, light will soon disappear, and the balance of the world will be destroyed. Accept the light into your hearts, and the crystals will grant you unimaginable strength. You have been chosen to be the bearers of our final chance at hope. You cannot allow light to fade from this world. And then it kind of cut and then it cuts back to just like what's happening. The party is enveloped in bright light. Ow, my eyes. Dark mode, please. Within the light, the will of the crystals surged through them. They decided to accept their destiny. And so began a journey to dispel the darkness and return light to the world. Ah, there it is. There's the theme. The young heroes received the crystal's power. And what did everyone unlock? We will find out. And with it, the world's last light of hope. 
Warrior, Monk, White Mage, Black Mage, and Red Mage jobs now available. Step upon the magic sigil to be transported to the surface. Embrace your destiny, Warriors of Light. So, I mentioned the classes can only be used by one person each. I'm not doing this as a challenge. I'm doing it, again, as like that thing I like to do where everything's used once. It's just how my brain works. Well, I am going to get Red Mage. C because my character in Final Fantasy XIV is one of the classes he has unlocked is Red Mage. Jack of all trades, master of none. Emphasis on the master of none. So I am a Red Mage. What about Julie? What does Julie get? White Mage. Now, Julie in Final Fantasy Tactics was a Geomancer Samurai. Now, Samurai is a weird class in Tactics where it has great physical damage. So does Geomancer, by the way. Geomancers actually... Don't sleep on Geomancers. Geomancers are a great class in Tactics. It has, like, A growth in Swords. As in, like, A tier. And also has, like, free Geomancy. It's a great class to be and then give it a side class. And Samurai has the ability called Iado or Drawout, where you pick a Samurai sword in your inventory and it does something. You can cast Protect on your party. You can heal your party. You can damage the enemy. It, you can do a bunch of stuff. So because of that weird combination, White Mage makes sense because the Samurai ability gave her an AoE heal. That was very good to have. So, Julie is a white mage. We have nothing for them, so Julie's just gonna punch people for a while. Aura. Now, Aura was a dragoon monk in tactics. So, this one's obvious. Monk. Also punch things, which is fitting. And missed. This, I'll, I'll admit, this is the one class I have a hard time justifying. Warrior. The classes I have planned for Miss character all make sense. Ex th this one's a little iffy, though. <laughs> Look, somebody has to have it. Also, her character was an Oracle Black Mage. She's also getting Black Mage, by the way, because that's left too. In Tactics, she was an Oracle Black Mage, and she did amazing melee damage, because in that game, Oracle equips poles. And poles scale off of your magic attack for your physical attack. She also had an item on that gave her constant re-res. So in a way, she was a very tanky tank. She couldn't die. Or more, more accurately, she died all the time and then just came back to life. So in that sense, she's kind of like a warrior. She was a magic warrior. And she still kind of is, because she has black, she'll have black mage as well. For now, I'm going to use the warrior. But she also gets black mage. So here's our team for now. I suck. Red mage is awful in this game. Red mage is only going to be good for like the first couple hours. And that's all I get until the next crystal. So. Yay. So, here's Kennison the Red Mage, uh, Julie the White Mage, Aura the Monk, and uh, Mist the Warrior. Hmm. Interesting. I just like looking at the sprite differences between the classes. Obvious hair. Also, the eye color changes. It goes from black to brown. And the placement of the left hand changes. And the clothing. Okay. So yeah, I know nothing about this game after this point in terms of where I'm going. But like I said, 2023, the year of playing new stuff for me. So Ooh, overworld theme.
Also, part of the reason why I'm playing through these is for the music. I have somehow been able to ignore all the soundtracks to these games so I can experience them in the game. Hearing the music by itself is one thing, but I don't want to ruin that experience. Sometimes when you like, sometimes there are, there are like scenes from from RPGs in my brain that are just there all the time. You know what I mean? Like they're, they're like the most memorable scenes to me. And they're a combination of what's happening in the game and the music. I don't want to take away like some of that, you know, some of that by listening to the music first. Ah, the town of Ur. Why, if it isn't you, you four rascals, where'd you run off to? What's that? Saving the world? Aren't you getting a bit a bit old for make believe? I don't don't judge me. You want to use an item? Just select it from the list when it appears. Why not use a potion on me to find out? I don't. I I don't want to know. <laughs> old man. No, this is a trick. He's trying to get a free potion out of this. Like, oh, well, now whippersnapper. Like, I don't know if you know how to use a potion. Why not just give it to me? <laughs> no, get your own. The elders await you inside. It seems that Don sensed what befell you all. He always did have a strong connection with the spirit world. Maybe I get something out of it, though. Ow. Buy. Is that an M or an N? Which one makes more sense? Buy gum. I think I... Buy gum. Uh, that cured my aching back. Thank you, youngsters. Here, take this with my regards. Echo herbs. That's worse, I think. Okay. Yes, the spirits have told me exactly what befell you. Now go speak with Elder Topapa. I believe he has some words of wisdom for you. Like, don't name your kids Topapa. It's Nina, a motherly figure to the four orphans. Take care on your journey. You know how I worry so. It's Homak, one of the town elders. In order to understand the power you've been granted by the crystal, you need to be true to your heart. It's Topapa, the elder who raised the four orphans. Hello, Mimikyoti. Finding the aliens yet? Or anything, anything fun? Aliens, ghosts, cryptids, anything? By the way, we've been watching uh, most, I'd say most nights, in uh, we, watching uh, Unsolved Mysteries. God, that show is uh, shows its age. I mean, well, I forgot how old that show was. I thought it was like mid early 90s, but apparently season one is like early, like late 80s. A haunted apartment. Ooh, Spooky. Papa, we... I know, I know. I think that you four would be chosen by the light. Kinnison, Julie, Aura, and Mist. You must understand that such a meeting was no mere chance. The crystal wield you to... Wield... Well, the... The crystal wield you to it. Such is its power. Your souls have been touched by light. You cannot let the strength you've been granted go to waste. Except for you, Kinnison. You have Red Mage. <laughs> it's already a waste. You must depart at once and seal away the power of darkness. Nothing there. The ghost left you alone. Aww. Why am I drinking from the random... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I guess I could do this one too. Oh, one of them is for dead people and the other is for uh, HP and MP. Okay. So I don't know what I'm doing. I have not played this game. Like, I don't know where I'm going. We're just going to talk to people. The wellspring water from the sanctuary can restore the health of those who have received the light of the crystal. Oh, it only works on us? But it... 
But in the cave, we drank the nasty water before we got the crystal power. Yes, you drag the dead bodies and throw them in the water. Zombie water. How much money do we have? Get out of the way, please. Let's see here. I already had daggers. Oh, Mist would Mist would Mist would really like a longsword. Look at that jumping animation. All right, you get one longsword. I'll get one staff for Julie. I think I've kind of like in a similar way to Final Fantasy One. I, I think that nunchucks are good to put on your monk for now, and then take them off later. I think. At some point, it's better not to have them. Oh, we have knives. That's why taggers are better. Well, let me take care of that. Just one. I get a dagger. I don't want a dual wield. I kind of want the shield. Um... There we go. I don't want to shield you. Yeah, I want to shield for you, too. Okay. Now, as far as I know, unlike Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 1 has a mechanic where the person in the front of the party at the top spot gets hit more often. As far as I know, it is the only JRPG that has that system. I have not read or played or heard of another one having a system like that. It probably exists, but haven't seen it. But I don't think this game has that. So having our tankiest person in the fourth slot is fine. It does bother me a little bit. <laughs> I'm used to having tank in slot one, but. Let's get some clothes. Leather armor everyone likes. Oh, that's a lot of my money. Leather cap and then you two. Wait, you two can have bracers, but those two can't? Why can't the warrior have that? Oh. Remember to stay hydrated. Hydrated. Shepherd. Oh, my bad. <laughs> uh, arms. Yes, please. There we go. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Almost forgot about the new armor. There we go. Oh, I forgot about that. You have to buy magic in this game. <laughs> oh. We can only buy Poisona. Poisona. Well. How does this game work with magic? Like, how many can you learn? In Final Fantasy 2, you could learn, like, 17 or 18 magic. How does... Hmm, I'm not sure how it works in this game. I only need one of those for now. So do I? OK, you go to learn. Oh, I I completely forgot this game has the Final Fantasy one charge system. Huh. Now, look at the spacing of these of these names. How many can fit here? One, two, three. I mean, I would think four, but four is a weird amount. Because one only had three. Unless there's more space. You need space for the cursor. OK, so it's going to be like here. Still four. Oh. I'm going to assume three. Until I know it's four. To the south of the town is Kazes, but no one ventures out that far since the Great Earthquake. 
Where it has it, the route is overrun with monsters. When the Great Earthquake hit, the Crystal Altar sank deep underground. Oh, this world is destined for ruin. Get out of here, Cursor. You can never leave home without a spell of cure. I saw one in the shed deeper in the thicket. Careful, though. There are monsters along the path. Uh, I would like cure, please. Goblins. Oh, yeah, there's also the row system in this game. Level up. Uh, Julie's spirit went up. Aura, strength, and agility. And miss strength. Again, as far as I understand, obviously all those stats definitely link up with what classes they are currently. But if I would switch mist to her black mage class being the only person who has a second class right now, besides Onion Knight. I believe she would, her magic would probably act like it got a one-up as well. Like, it's like a retroactive thing. Unlike Final Fantasy Tactics, where when you level up as a class, those stats that you get are what you get. Julie, go back row. You're only doing three damage in the front, now you can do two damage from the back. See the candle furthest to the right? It's actually the switch for a hidden door. Why would you tell me this? Ooh. Cool. I'm cool. I'm glad I bought four of them. Yep, I'm glad I bought one of those too. Well, that's good. All right. <laughs> Note to self, uh, sw search the towns before you buy stuff. <sighs> well, that could have saved some money. Hmm, fine. I'm gonna use them. Uh, Mist, I, this is definitely more her style. Mist now has two swords. I think I'm gonna stick with Leather Shield because I don't want to die. And I guess that's it. Can you dual wield nunchucks? I mean, Michelangelo does it. Hmm. Dual, it, see, it says dual wooden weapons. It makes me think I can't. Kind of curious, though. <laughs> dual staffs. I mean, it kind of works. Remember Gandalf when he was like wielding a staff and a sword? That's kind of cool. It seems very unwieldy. All right, let's give uh, Julie here. All right, it's three. It put a lot of space in there. With the introduction of more common items, it probably made po Poisona dumb to give her. In the Pixel Remasters, they have made items just more common. Like in Final Fantasy 1, certain items didn't exist. Like, I'm pretty sure in the original Final Fantasy 1, there was only like cure poison and a single cure tonic, basically, that healed not a lot. Then they introduced potions and high potions, X potions, echo things and like everything, like everything that cures everything, basically. It makes those spells not nearly as helpful and important. Oh my, you're a tenacious bunch to find me to find me in here. Tell you what, I'll give you my secret potion stash. Just check in the well. Ooh. Okay. I guess we just go. <laughs> hey, like Final Fantasy 1, just go. Don't know where I'm going. 
Asus. Eek! Oh, sorry. I thought you would not, it might be a ghost too. Oh, spooky town! While traveling from the west, I came upon this accursed town. I'd stay away from the inn if I were you. It's full of g, -g ghosts Ghost, you say? Hmm. Maybe we'll solve a mystery. Or rewrite history. <laughs> a woo. Uh. Oh, hello. The Jin's curse turned all the villagers into this. Guess I can't buy anything while they're ghosts. Oh, go what? Ghosts can't sell stuff? Mm. Mm. Do I want to go in there yet? Feel like I should check around for it. Wait, what was that? I believe I just made my character touch the fire. Yep, my intelligence is very high. Yep. So... Oh yeah, he said the end. Ooh, spooky. Only a mithril ring made here in Kazis can contain the Jin's power. This is why the Jin cursed the town. The Jin had been trapped in the sealed cavern since the Great Earthquake, but now he's awakened. All I want is to have my beautiful complexion back. The townsfolk made a mithril ring for Princess Sarah of Castle Sassoon once. If only we could borrow it. Sid's the name. Oh, look at Sid. Yay! They did retroactively put Sid in Final Fantasy 1 in the remaster, and probably in the Game Boy Advance or PSP versions. But I believe Sid was always in 2. And 3. Pretty sure Sid's first appearance is 2. I believe Moogles also make their first appearance in this game. I'm from Kanan, but a boulder in New Valley is blocking my way home. Now I'm stuck here. Figured I'd spend the night at the inn, and then this happened. What's my wife going to say? Say, want to take my airship for a spin? It's parked under the desert to the west of town. In return, think you can do something with this uh, predicament? predicament? Do I already get an airship? <laughs> Yay, early airship. All right, Sid. I'll turn you into not ghost. Do I get to keep the airship, though? Mm. So it sounds like I can't do anything about the Jin now. I need to go somewhere else and get the ring. So what happens if I go in early, though? Maybe I should find out. Do I just die? One of those typical RPG things where you go into a place you're not supposed to go and you don't have an item, and you just kind of die. But it's probably a scripted thing where there's going to be some roadblock. Where, it, like, someone or something just doesn't let me go in further. Let's find out. Mummies! Ow! Oh, I shouldn't be here. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be here. Uh-huh. Um, um, do 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 and oh, not dead yet. <laughs> Well, bye, Julie. <laughs> yeah. 
Now, you could argue that I could go to the overworld and just level up, since I haven't really done that yet. But I think this is the game's way of saying, don't come in here yet. That we will level up naturally doing something else, and then we will uh, go there eventually. We already have an airship. That can't go past mountains. Okay, so it is limited. So we are limited to this little area, okay? Castle Sassoon. The Jin's curse turned everyone in the castle into ghosts. I was only spared because I was out on a mission at the time. If we had a mithril ring, we would be able to seal away the Jin again. Cassus is the only place where the, they can craft such a ring. But with the curse. How can we hope to find a mithril ring now? I did not talk to you again. Ooh, stuff. Yep, high potions. I have no idea if this game has high potions normally or not. It probably doesn't. Monsters! Why is this in a tower at a castle? Fire! Ow! Okay. All right. <laughs> Perhaps also shouldn't be fighting this. Oh, but then Mist won't get experience and will already be offset at the beginning of the game. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, well. It's bound to happen. We did it! Mist gets nothing. Ooh, a White Slayer. That could be good for that cave. It's full of undead. Can I equip it? I can equip it. Ooh, I have a shiny new sword that's good against undead. Ooh. And Mist, <laughs> Mist is dead. Well, whoever wants the White Slayer, raise your hand. Hey, Mist, I thought you might want it. Oh, you're well, you're dead. Oh, well, I guess you can't raise your hand then. Mine. Oh, there's just I, I don't want to get even more experience now. So I'm guessing there's no inn. Yeah, let's just go back and dump the body in the water. <laughs> no, I have to go over here. Hi, we're back. Just carrying a dead body. All right, make a wish. Yeah. Oh, Mist is back to life. It's a shame you couldn't uh, volunteer. It's a shame you couldn't like draw your lot for the sword. It was just me, and I got a two. You definitely would have beaten me. I I missed <laughs> my very first swing with the awesome new sword I have. I missed. It's too heavy for my noodle arms. Oh yeah, also airship. <laughs> I'm just not used to having one this early. Okay. 
Oh, what's in tower number two? Probably also box with monsters. I drops and do. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, bow. And wooden arrows. Oh, I can. Are we all? Let's take a nap in the princess's bed. <laughs> Is it a huge mattress? Because otherwise. <laughs> that entire scene was weird. Commenting on the fact that we're sleeping in the princess's bed is a little weird. And the fact that it's just a single bed and we're all okay. I wasn't mocking per se. I you know, I gave her a fair chance to lot for the sword and d didn't do it in time. Can you imagine that's how Final Fantasy 14 worked? We're at the end of like a raid. Um, there's like like there's like two. Let's say let's say there's two ninjas, and one of the drops could be like an amazing ninja weapon, and one of the ninjas dies in the very last second. And then you kill the boss, and someone who's dead can't lot. Like, roll for it. So they just automatically lose it. <laughs> oh, that'd be mean. So where is the princess? The Jin curse did this to me. To all of us. Oh, what shall I do? Uh, I would like that stuff, please. Can I, can I get over there? But, but I want over, th oh, come on. I am King Sassoon, but as you can see, the Jinn's curse has reduced me to this ghostly form. Only by defeating the Jinn can this foul creature be, well, foul curse be lifted. Where is the Jinn? He dwells in the sealed cavern north of this castle. Without a mithril ring, you will be powerless to seal him away. In a sealed cavern north. So it wasn't the cavern we went into in the town. We heard that Her Highness Princess Sarah has one. Oh. Now how could I have forgotten? The people of Kazis once presented Sarah with a mithril ring, but I fear Sarah is nowhere to be found. How could she be could she be abducted by the djinn? Oh my poor oh her name is Sarah. Yeah, her name is Sarah. The very first princess in one is also Sarah. Oh, we talked it over. We can check out the sealed cavern. Oh, such stalwart warriors. When you reach the sealed cavern, you should know there is a secret door. The skeleton is the key. Please, you must defeat the djinn and free my people from this wicked curse. Can you tell me how to get to that stuff? <laughs> There's also chests over there, too. Hmm. Hmm. Ah! Meow. Blizzard! Leather shield. Is it weird that the first thing I thought of when I, when I thought when I saw Blizzard was from Dairy Queen? <laughs> It's like, hmm, blizzard. Thousand gill. Thousand gill again. Water that I can't drink. Oh, what good is this water? Just the water room. Is this the game where if you have a thief in your party, you can see uh, secret passages all the time? Like this would just show up as a secret passage? Mm. I don't know. So he said north of the castle, right? But how do I get past the water? 
I could just land here. But then what is with the cave over here, then? Remember to stay hydrated. Hydrated. Num, num, num. So... I probably shouldn't be in here yet. But it looks like it's a dead end. So let's just see what's up here. Oh. Oh, don't ambush me. Let's put no, stop hitting me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why do they hate me so much? Why did they just beat me up? But I'm the one who has the sword that kills them. <laughs> That was a lot of damage. Ow. Oh, that's a lot of experience, too, and I get none of it. Julie got it, almost everything. Aura, good, because Aura has no magic. In fact, I'll tell you that right now, Aura is going to have no magic class. Which makes sense because his character in Tactics had no magic. Mist! That kind of, well, like I said, it's retroactive. When I, when I flip her to Black Mage, her intelligence and spirit should go up. At least intelligence. Let's test that theory. And actually, while we're here, um... Learn Blizzard. Now, unfortunately, the way this game works, I believe if you switch your class to a magic caster, you have no charges. Like the charges carry over. If you were to if you were to go from like black mage to white mage, it might work. But because a warrior has no magic, I had zero. So if I were if I went to an inn and got up to seven charges of Blizzard and then switch back to Warrior, it would go down to zero again. And then switch back, zero again. That's probably why it's good to have mages be mages, if you want to flip between them in a dungeon, so you don't lose all your charges. Yeah, let's switch her back, though. Well, now yeah, let's... Yeah, let's just do this. There you go. Oh yeah, I didn't even test it, did I? And, yep, her intelligence went up to 11. That pretty much confirms it. Stop, please. Let's get out of here. Whatever this button does, I can't do it yet. Good place to level up, though, if I can survive. <laughs> it didn't like that. Yeah, twice the clip. Can I not revive dead people here? Is there no place to revive dead people here? Aha! Make a wish, plop. I wish I didn't suck as much. Like, no, you are Kinnison. That is impossible. You will always be the worst character in the party. That is the way of things. Can I just sleep for free? Yeah. What are the, what are the ghosts going to do about it? Ghost comes in. Hey, slept sleeping here for free. It costs money. What are we going to do about it? <laughs> Haunt me.
All right, let's make sure it actually, okay, good, good. I, you know, I kind of want to level up a little bit. Let's, let's, let's level grind a little bit in here and hopefully not die. Oh, why? No, don't do that. So how do I, here we go. Gonna spend my time doing that. Ow! <laughs> Just kill one, please. Oh, Mist was de-equipped because I switched classes. Welp. Alright. Okay. Please escape. No, stop, stop dying and escape. No, okay. All right. Yeah, we killed one. It's just Julie. I mean, <laughs> she can do it. If she survives the hits. Ah. <laughs> Yay. Only Julie gets experience. <laughs> All right, Julie, just drag our dead body. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Well, eventually she'll have the mini spell. And the mini spell, she could just mini all our dead bodies and just put them in her pocket. Yeah, we did it. We're all back to life. Yay. And we're just still at one health. Time to sleep for free because the ghost can't stop me. Ah, nice, pleasant dreams, except with the ghost trying to haunt my dreams and make me sad. Yes, yeah, speaking of that. Watching Unsolved Mysteries has always been kind of eerie to me. I remember watching it as a kid. And the weirdest thing is, I remember watching Unsolved Mysteries as a kid and remembering all the all the stories of ghosts and aliens and stuff. But the first three seasons has been like 95% murders and treasure hunting, of course, and stuff like that. There's been very few stories of like ghosts and aliens and fun stuff. It's just weird as a kid, I remember seeing more, like, weird stuff. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I, I still want to, like, attempt to even, <laughs> I still want to level up in here a little bit. What am I doing? I'm gonna try it. But I actually saved the game. Can I? Yes, I can. No. Yeah, the treasure hunts got got old quick. Remember how I talked about I used to watch a show, uh, Monster Quest, where it was always the same thing. They went over the monster in the beginning for the first 10 minutes. That was the coolest part of the episode, like the lore of the monster they were hunting. And then it was just a bunch of we're in the woods at night. Oh, what was that? What was that rustling in the forest? Oh, there's nothing there. <laughs> Let's see what pictures we got. Nothing. OK, episode's over. Well, it's kind of like that where it's like buried treasure and it's the same thing every time. Does someone, oh, I forgot to re-equip her again. Okay. That sword doesn't do a lot. It's a white slayer. Why is it doing so bad? Well, it's in my hands, of course. Ow! All right. Uh, that wasn't my fault. That was a crit.
Oh, I got two levels. <laughs> Once again, Julie survived. Julie's going to be our highest level character. She keeps surviving. Yeah, and most of the time, some of these mysteries are like, maybe it could be this, or maybe it could be that. Most of the time with a treasure, I feel like it's just, no. Like, there are just, there's like, there's too many things that just seem off. Like the idea that someone on their deathbed would tell someone about a super duper treasure and they spread it all over the place. Like, why not keep it to yourself? There was one story where these like this, this like these two people. I think it was that like someone on their deathbed told these two people where this treasure was that was worth like a million dollars, which was back then. It was like, you know, that's like several million now. But then the story isn't. These two people kept the secret their whole lives and tried to find it themselves and then told someone else when they died or whatever. It's they immediately told everyone they could find. And then everyone is look, everyone in this like small town is looking for the treasure. And then it and then it tra that story travels further. That is a giant red flag to me. It's more likely those two people made it up and said that someone on their deathbed told them this. Otherwise, why would you tell anyone? If I was one of the two people in the room and heard that story and the other person's like, we should tell, the, we should tell everybody, like, what are you dumb? <laughs> like, keep it to ourselves. We'll find the treasure for ourselves. Everyone knows they'll find it. It's way more likely they made it up. Just to mess with people. All right, let's try again. And this time, <laughs> this will have equipment on. <laughs> Mummies. Well, a mummy. Yeah, we did it! Kinnison leveled up. Look at that, look at those red mage stats, all eights. Get a few more. Well, how about a... Yeah, let's do that. Wait, what was that? Hold on. Oh, Aura is blinded. I didn't even see that. Can't get it because he's okay. Ooh. Yay! Yeah, now it's starting to be too easy. Let's get like one more level. Uh, hey, you might hit him. Nope. <laughs> in, in, in RPGs, blind. Oh, that's going to hurt a little bit. Yeah. And I'm poisoned. I'm poisoned and blinded. <laughs> Aura's not feeling good. Poison only did four damage. Oh, poison sucks in this game. Just like just like that. Um, in some games, blind doesn't have that much of an effect, and sometimes it has a terrible effect. And just like that, poison. Poison in Final Fantasy One is pretty deadly because it's it happens super early on, and it takes off a lot of health. That only took off four. So apparently poison in this game is not that deadly. Instead of uh, taking off the poison, I'm just going to heal. That's probably a better use. Ow! No! It did exactly 20! 
And I missed. Of course I missed. Uh, now here comes exactly 20 damage to missed. Nope. Not. Bum ba dum. Julie, one intellect. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if Julie is the smartest one on the team. Let's let's see. Let's see who the smartest person on the team is. I have eight. Julie has eight. Aura has five. And Mist has six. My stat doesn't seem accurate. Self-proclaimed eight in intellect. The Reapers are here. Reapers. Yay, Raid. Where are you playing? <gasps> Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door. I knew that because I was lurking. I love that game. It's such a nice laid back JRPG that's still fun. It's fun to play. It has like a good balance of humor and simple mechanics, but it's still fun. It's not like Mystic Quest <laughs> was what I'm trying to say. Hello, thank you for the raid. And welcome to my first stream in like a month. Yay. Yeah, how was Mario? Yeah, we're playing some Final Fantasy 3. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, It feels weird to be playing a Final Fantasy game and not know where to go or what to do. But 3 is one of only two main Final Fantasy games I have not beaten. 3 and 5. I want to get I want to get a level for the two people that didn't level up, Aura and myself, I think. Made a lot of progress. Ooh. I still remember. I mentioned this actually when you were streaming it. Uh there was a night where Mar Paper Mario has a like a 100 level dungeon thing. It's kind of like a gauntlet thing. And I remember doing it all in one night. I stayed up all night doing it. I had to work the next day, too. And I'm showing my age again. Because I just said I was playing a GameCube game and had to work the next day. <laughs> a lot of people that talk about Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door talk about having it as like a game they played when they were a kid. <laughs> So it's like, I had school the next day. Like, nope, I had work. To be fair, I think at that point in my life, it was my first job. So, there's that. Yeah. I was all blind. All right, Aura. Uh, I, hey, look, again, red mage stats, all nines. Aura got a bunch of other stuff. Uh, okay, okay. Who is your favorite? Well, I was gonna say who's your who's your favorite party member. I mean, you only have one at a time, but I think I used uh, the Koopa guy a lot. Oh, you've never done it. Ooh. First time on screen. Yep. I actually did play uh, Mario RPG on the SNES. However, it was actually at a sleepover. And I don't remember much of it. My friend ended up staying up all night and beating it where I fell asleep for a couple hours. So I woke up and he was on the final boss. It's like, what did I miss? Okay. So we're going to go fight the djinn now. Let's go ahead and do a C. After you beat the game, I think that was my mistake. I was, I think I was very over leveled because I beat it before I got to the end game. I think I was just over leveled. 
When I first started playing JRPGs, I was always underleveled. I didn't understand the concept of leveling up evenly or level grinding. Level grinding didn't exist in games I grew up with. You don't level grind in Sonic, you know, or that kind of stuff. I mentioned Pokemon was my first RPG. It showed. At the end of the game, I had two level 80s and the rest were 30s. I didn't know what I was doing. When I first beat Final Fantasy VII, my cloud was level 41. And the rest of my characters were in like mid-30s. And I was still able to beat the game. It was not easy. <laughs> but nowadays, since I end up doing optional bosses that exist in every game now, uh, by the time I get to the end game, I'm ridiculously powerful. Best example of that is Final Fantasy X. If you do all the battle arena stuff and max out your stats and like beat the dark aeons and stuff, the end boss is a joke. Or seven. There are two optional bosses in seven. You beat both of those and the end boss stuff is a joke. I, I think it's the only time I've ever actually been under leveled in RPG is on stream because I don't level grind as much. Yeah. By the way, this game actually has two levels for your character. You have your level level, which, as you can see, is uh, seven, eight, six and six. I'm all over the place. Oh, I'm dropping frames. All right, well, it's back now. And there's also your class level. And I kind of forget what happens with that. Again, I barely played this game. I played the NES version up until like, I mentioned like the first like 20 minutes, if that. And then I played the DS version for like 10 hours. I don't remember how the job level works. As you can see, I'm job level four with the red mage. But I don't remember what that does. Where can I go to see job stuff? Hmm. Would be a magic for everybody. Uh, is there a button I can pick? No, nope, no, nope, there's nothing. Okay. I don't remember. I don't remember what job levels do in this game. Uh... But hmm. I know the monk, I think it might just be commands. Because I know the monk learns a few commands eventually. Like kick. In this game, they gave the monk kick. Which is from uh, Final Fantasy IV. The only Final Fantasy I know well, I know like pretty well is 10. Because I... Why am I being attacked by money? I'm being attacked by money and sp spaghetti cookie monsters. Mm. Oh, I'm confused. Yes, I am. Uh... Well? What if I do that? There we go. Julie just bonked me in the head. Probably also fix my rose situation here. Oh, you have poison. Ow! I'm just gonna run. Yeah. Bye. Uh, and poison carries over after battle. And we're back to that. Why I deserve bonk. Oh, another cure. Ooh, another cure. Yay, I can do something with magic finally. I can cure people. Cool, I'm useful now. Also, we're in a, we're in a dungeon with dead things, so cure also good. Oh, Tessa, did you do the Greninja raid? If not, it'll be back in like 
two weeks. Cure. Um, I don't think I have to. Well, well. Yeah, I do this. I can use top off. I actually used the same Pokemon for the Greninja raid as I did for the Cinderace raid. My Slowbro. My uh, my Slowbro build for for Cinderace was <sighs> Cinderace's moves. Were they all physical or all special? I don't remember. I think they were all one or the other. Isn't Cinderace physical? Yeah. Okay. So I think my Slowbro was max HP, max defense. And basically I gave it um, iron defense. Was it a mix? Hmm. I gave it iron defense. Uh, nasty plot, psychic terrain, and stored power. Every Pokemon seems to be a little different when it comes to when they take out your stats, when they take off like stat buffs. And because of that, like Cinderace didn't take off your stat buffs hardly ever. So all I did was just do three iron defenses, three, uh, what is it called? Uh, nasty plots, one psychic terrain, and then just blasted them once with, uh, Store power. When I did the. Oh, yeah. Okay. When I did the Greninja raid, it being physical was good because it had Night Slash. Unless Night Slash crit, I was fine. I did replace Psychic Terrain with Slack Off. I needed it. I had to heal a few times. But yeah, all I did was just set up three and then three and then just blast them like five times. Although Greninja did take off your stat buffs early, I would just sit there and wait. And as soon as he did it, I would just start setting up. The funny thing is, it had just come out. The raid had just come out and nobody had like a, a strat for it yet. I All I did was take my slow bro, slap, uh, slack off on it and just go. And then when I found out two days later that one of the main like meta builds for it was that exact build. <laughs> It was slow, bro, with instead of psychic terrain, having slack off. It's like, oh, OK. Wait, they said the skeleton was the key, right? All right, do your two damage down. Oh, 12. Ow. I missed again. Why? Why am I so bad? <laughs> oh, I'm bl oh, man. <laughs> do I have any eye drops? I do not. Cool. My physical attacker is blind. Awesome. Works out for me. Hydrate. Ooh. Oh, hello. I am Sarah, Princess of Sassoon. Your Highness, what are you doing here? I am here to save my subjects, but I fear I cannot find a clear path through the monsters. Thankfully, my mithril ring spared me from the Jin's curse. Nevertheless, these caves are dangerous, Your Highness. You should return to the castle. I will not. I'll forge ahead alone if I have to. Goodbye. Your Highness, won't you reconsider? No. Please take me with you. You cannot seal away the Jin without my mithril ring. Then I suppose we must. Yeah, Sarah joined the party. So in this game, you can have guest party members, but unlike in two, where they take up the fourth slot, 
you actually have a fifth party member. <laughs> but I believe they like randomly pop up in battle to do stuff. Oh, that's right. If you wish to talk to me, press the L. Is that an L? Pre <laughs> press the upside down hammer button. I don't know what that is. Don't hesitate to ask me anything. Let's be off. Okay, yeah, it is L. <laughs> I am Sarah, and you are? Oh no, I'm the one talking. I'm Kennison. A pleasure. Wait, can I? I must use this ring to the seal away the djinn's power and save my people. Please don't, please escort me through the cavern. Oh, but I want to... Oh, I no, I can't introduce everybody. Oh. Hey, can you heal my blind monk, please? Yeah, oh, money. It's money. Na, na, na. I just attack all the same ones. Stare! It puts me to... So the money stares at me and puts me to sleep. Okay. Makes sense to me. I'm assuming this counts as an undead enemy because I'm doing good damage with my sword. Kinnison got nothing. <laughs> Just HP. Oh, they kept that in. The um the following like animation for the NPC it was always a little weird. Like how they have to like catch up and when they move diagonally it's kind of awkward looking. No no Ignore that. Ignore what? Ow! Mist is getting a little low on HP. Also, why does why does the warrior have less HP than the red mage and the white mage? Hmm. Oh, Julie leveled up. Oh, eye drops. Ooh. Yeah, no longer blinded. Revenants. Mm. I'm going to double cure them. I don't trust them. I don't like them. When I see them, I think status effects. That's why I want them dead. Oh, Miss leveled up. Got some HP. Got spirit intellect for some reason. I've done that once or twice. Not on Twitch, but on Discord. Like I'll be in like a like a channel in a Discord server. And I'll be t I'll be like typing something and then I'll switch to a, a DM and then type something and then I'll forget I did that. And then I'll type in the DM like 10 minutes later. But I think I'm still in the group chat. <laughs> it's happened. Oh, yeah, Miss is almost dead. Uh. No, no, don't you do it. Don't you kill Mist. I need her alive.
I only have four cures left. For a boss fight coming up, that's not great. Now, I'm guessing the Jin is not undead. I mean, when I think of, like, what a Jin is, I don't think it's undead. So... They're just kind of hanging out in an undead cave. Before we go any further. Oh, uh, man, I'm not liking our chances here. I do have five cures left. Four cures left with my red mage. Eh, three cures left. Might as well top off. So seven total. Hey, moms. Yep. I've actually never played this. I played the DS version, which is a little different. I'm hoping to, to finally beat the two mainline Final Fantasy games. I've never beaten three and five. Uh, I have beaten, like, every version of one, I think. <laughs> uh, but there's Final Fan uh, There's I beat one. I've only beaten two once. I uh, haven't beaten this. Beat four several times, including the 3D one on the DS. Uh, six, seven. Haven't beat the remake of seven yet. Uh, eight, nine, ten, like, six times. Uh, t I consider 10-2 to be mainline because it's a direct sequel. Uh... 12, all the 13 games, because again, they're sequels, so. Okay, then. It's the djinn! Stand back, I'll use my ring to banish the djinn. Nothing happened. Blah! <laughs> You think that silly trinket will stop me now? I've joined forces with the darkness, and together we're unstoppable. The Jin attacked. So he's got fire and a sword. All right, okay. So what are we doing? Well, all I can do is cure. So, attack? Defend. I mean, I have no abilities at this point. All I can do is really just defend. Ow! Well, you hurt a little bit. Am I a... Uh... I good for this fight? <laughs> like, my. I... And Art is dead. And I wasted a cure. Awesome. Ow. And I missed. Please stop missing. Uh. Uh? I have one Phoenix down. I, just, I don't think it's worth it. Um, ow. As long as Julie can act first, or the Jin doesn't attack the same person twice, but I am running out of cures is the problem. Uh, cure, just defend. Ooh, that did nothing. Ow. Nice triple digit hit. I don't have a choice. I, I have to get Aura up. I don't want to risk using my last cure. I want to do this and bank on the fact that I'm faster. But if, if I'm not, I waste my last cure, so. Eh, it would have worked. Oh well. Uh, die happy. 
is slowly consuming you and you're dreaming of the happiest life you own. Oh, so it's kind of like the... What's the thing called from Superman? The... Oh, man. It attaches itself. To, oh, in this case, Superman. And it shows him what his life would have been like if Krypton didn't explode. And he has, like, a wife and a kid. But then eventually he finds out that it's fake. So in order to break away from the dream and actually wake up, he has to, like, watch his family die in an explosion. And it's super realistic. It's called, like, the Something Mercy, I think. But I think it also, like, slowly kills you. <laughs> so. All right, we are hurt. Great. Um, no cures left. Awesome. Ooh, I lived. <laughs> I lived. Oh, this is not going great. Um, you're doing the most damage. You have to live. Uh, you're going to do like two damage, but maybe it matters. Oh, I'll go. You win. Yay. <laughs> We're all beat up. Now, Sarah, while the gin is weakened, use your ring. Sarah raised the ring up high. In blackest day. What, what is. Oh, I already forgot the line. In darkest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Something, 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 something. Beware my power, Green Lantern's light. There you go. The gin dis uh, dispensed, dispersed like mist. The ring's powers sealed him deep within the cavern once again. Thank you so much. I would never have been able to seal away the djinn without your help. All that remains is to cast this ring into the spell spring. Wellspring, I can read. In Castle Sassoon, and the djinn's curse will be lifted. For now, I'll use the ring's power to warp us back to the... It could do that? Convenient... Yeah, like, that's how this thing is. W once you realize it's fake, like, someone was able to break into the dream somehow, like, psychically, and it's like, hey, this is a dream, and at first, of course, you're like, what are you, what are you doing? Get out of here. And the dream actually changes to compensate. Like, people in the dream will, like, attack the person, and it's like, they're the bad guy. But in the end, he had to, like, come to the conclusion that it's fake, and then watch Krypton explode and just kill his family. And then he destroyed the person responsible. Yeah, I don't know how it works in the comics, but there's an episode of the show, the Justice League cartoon show, where the guy that's responsible is the guy in charge of War World. I forget his name. And then once Superman gets out of that dream, he just he annihilates the guy. Uh, Princess Sarah threw the ring in the wellspring. Oh, it's in... Okay, yeah. I got it reversed. Although, why would he, why would they say in Brightest Day? Isn't it supposed to be like a... Like, bad stuff is happening? It's like, in Brightest Day. I kind of expected it to be more... Huh. Weird. In Brightest Day, in Blackest Night, you must take my sight. Let those who worship... That's what it is. Evil's might. You are my power. Green Lantern's light. Yay. <laughs> what green lan what lantern would you be in the DC universe? You got green, which is willpower. You have yellow, which is fear. Um, you have blue, which is like knowledge. Uh, red is anger. Pink, I don't remember. I want to say love, but that seems very typical <laughs> for the color pink. So I'm not sure what pink is. And black is just dead. There's a there's a there's a series in the comics where like the black rings are just like basically it's basically zombie. You become like an undead and you get a black ring, and it, you, they just like take over the galaxy basically. And there's also white, which is a combination of all of them, which is like super powerful. 
for the most part, yellow or evil because they like to spread fear around. You're inherently going to be a bad person in that case. And red is like a bunch of berserkers. There. Now the Jin's curse should be broken. We wouldn't be here without you all. Thank you. I suppose we must part ways. I have a duty to my father and my people, after all. Would that I could travel with you. Also, Sarah didn't do anything in the fight, did she? Why do I remember there being a thing where the party member did something, like, randomly? Oh. Oh, it is love. Okay. Yeah, because I remember, I think, Hal Jordan's, like, ex- girlfriend slash wife ends up being um, be getting a pink ring because of that. Hmm. Also, this cool stuff like when, at one point, Batman had a ring. I think he had all of them. I think there was like a story where he got he collected all of them because he's just like a superhuman being. <laughs> but I know at one point he had a green he had a green one. And he apparently he did such a better job than Hal Jordan. Hal Jordan kind of gets kind of gets like picked on because he has you have this ring that can create anything your mind can imagine and it's always dumb stuff like punching gloves and <laughs> it's a lot of people make fun of him for like being very I don't know not very creative would that I would, would that I could travel with you but it'd only be in your way oh no the trope Look, I enjoyed playing Tales of Arise off stream, but I, I say this. You can make this a drinking game, okay? When you're playing a very, like, anime-esque JRPG, which I think Tales games are kind of in the middle with that, the, 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 the scene where someone says something and another character says that person's name and then it's dot, dot, dot. Like, Sarah. After they, like, say something like, inspirational or sad or whatever it happens all the time <laughs> there's so many scenes in Tales of Arise where someone will say something and someone just says their name hmm. come back when you finish your journey I'll be waiting for you for as long as it takes we swear to return oh Sarah left the party Bye bye Yes, we did it. We are the heroes. Thank you, brave warriors. You've sealed away the djinn and saved my precious Sarah. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Take this. I trust it will aid you on your quest. Oh, we got the canoe. That's in this game, huh? For saving my only daughter, and my kingdom, and all its people, I give you this small wooden boat. Okay. Uh, oh, we got some war here. Seven core will be born. Seven. So, okay. I know there are times. Oh, we're getting to English language here. When do you pronounce it core? And when do you pronounce it? I'm trying to remember how it works. That can be an abbreviation for like two different things. And depending on what it's abbreviation for, I think it depends on what you pronounce it as. Like Marine Corps, like a group of people is pronounced core. But then like a corporation can be like, I don't know. I don't know English. I hate English. Because this is the Green Lantern Corps, I know it's pronounced core, but will shine their light brightly and will be at war. To be fair, I believe green and blue are somewhat aligned. That's good. Lantern Corps organization that harnesses the emotional electromagnetic spectrum. Originally just the Green Lantern Corps, it has since expanded with red. Oh yeah, orange. Isn't orange like thief? <laughs> I'm pretty sure orange is just like thief. It's weird. It's like will, knowledge, anger, and all this stuff, and it's just like stealing. 
Indigo! I forgot about Indigo! Yeah, I just, I don't like English. I took Spanish for five years. In public school, so I don't remember any of it. I didn't really learn it, I just kind of memorized it, took a test, and then that was it. But it was so nice to hear a word and know how it's spelled. Or pronounced. Like, you see the word and it's like, oh, it's pronounced this way. But English? You don't know. It's toss-up. Oh yeah, because everyone's back to normal, is there anything I can do in here now? I already did the monster in the box. Uh, Princess has missed you. Her room is at the top of the tower to the right. I've been... What? We haven't seen each other in like two minutes. I have to stay here with my father. Would that I could travel with you. Oh, we're, we're doing this again. Orange is greed. I believe there's also only one at a time. Or maybe two. There are entire groups of them. But I think with orange, there's only one or two at a time. Oh, yeah. Where did I leave the... <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's my airship? Oh, I have the canoe now, so I can actually get the airship. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Has anyone here played Sword and Shield Pokemon? There's music in that. How is it? It's the it's the one where like the is it the one where you're fighting? And like the two wolves, the two doggies show up. Listen to this. It reminds me of that a lot. I mean, it's only like a two second part, but still. Blue is hope. I thought blue was more like a knowledge thing, but maybe, you know, maybe it is hope. Which one's the, is indigo knowledge? I think one of them is knowledge in some form. We did it! Everyone's not a ghost. Oh, hey, Sid. Well done. I knew you could pull it off. I bet you're glad you had my airship, huh? I'm just happy it was used for a good cause. I'm taking it back now. Have fun walking. But if I ask another favor, can you get me back to my missus and Kanan? Please, she's been waiting a mighty long time. Sid joined the party. Okay. But first, shopping. Oh, I can buy fire. I already have blizzard on mist. And sleep. Yeah, man, sleep usually is pretty bad in these games. But of course, only I can learn. Oh, hold on, hold on. I Red mage can learn sleep. It's a bad spell. Which means I should probably give it to me. Because I'm terrible. Here, buy a fire for Mist's Black Mage. And I'll buy a sleep for me, <laughs> just running with the joke that my character's not very good. Also, since we're not, um, it, normally in this game, you can make anyone any character you want, any class. You can have four Black Mages if you want. But since I only have one Black Mage, by my own rule set, I only need one of each, usually. Yay, I learned how to sleep. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, it's more I learned how to sleep whenever I want. That'd be good. All right, let's, uh... I can't do that now. I, I have to actually... Oh, no, I can't. Okay. There we go. That's cool. You don't have to switch to the Black Mage to learn it. Ooh, what new weapons can I get? Mithril Knife? Mithril Rod? Ooh, Mithril Swords. Two for Mist. 
a mithril rod for Julie, and a mithril knife for me. Mithril shield for me, since I have the shield. Mithril helm, I can have two of them. Armor, two. Racers, two. And glo uh. Okay, evasion, two. Magic defense, intelligence, spirit. This is better. <laughs> That. Oh, you can dual wield stuff. The rod and the staff. That's kind of funny. I mean, since I can't have a shield, I might as well have a staff, right? Yeah. Wait, who has the. Nope, you have that. You have that. There we go. Awesome. What's our stats look like? Did we get... No, we can get a free sleep. Oh, oh. Hold on. When th when these people were cursed to be ghosts, I got to sleep for free in the end. How much you want to bet I have to pay money now? I saved you! <laughs> I should get to sleep for free here. Oh, I guess I can. Huh. Good. That's right. I do get to sleep here for free. What happens if I actually talk to the person? Oh, I actually can't. Oh, hold on, hold on. What can I do for you? Oh, you just sell items. Okay. I do those. So it is free. Okay, that's nice. I'll be honest, I was fully expecting to have to pay for it. Uh, I still don't know what's in here. Did I get any? I got a canoe. <laughs> No items that would actually do anything in there. Mm -hmm. All right. So how do I get Sid home? I have to knock out this boulder. How do I do that? Maybe, maybe Sid has the answer for that cave? Since he's with me now? Maybe? Probably not. <laughs> Doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. Aha! You can barely touch me now. Except you can still blind me. <laughs> Why does it work now? I touched the button last time and nothing happened. Hmm. Mummies. Kennison, of course, red make stats. We move from nine to 10. Of course, whenever I... Okay. When you see mummies, what do you think of? Besides, like, actual mummies. When it, when it comes to, like, fictional stuff, what, what do you think of? I think of a few things. The funny thing is, the first one that pops in my head is that cartoon Mummies Alive that only lasted, like, two seasons. I mentioned it before. That show came on after school. Um like my seventh grade year, I believe. I think it was seventh grade. Oh, come on. I already bought two of these. <sighs> well, 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 now I have four. <laughs> Let's get Miss two more arms and she can equip four of them. Well, that could have saved me a thousand, Gil. 
So the whole point of coming in here was to get two mithril swords that I already bought. All right. Hey, money. Let's let's take a look. I think these are considered undead. But let's find out. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's also really good. They seem to have a high physical defense. So one cure just wipes them out. Got it. Well, all I got from coming in this place was sadness. <laughs> I mean, at least I have an excuse for missing. I have sunglasses on. In a cave, because I'm cool. Now, getting two extra swords would have been nice, because what if I want two warriors on the team? But again, my rule set won't let me, so. Uh, Julie, and missed. This here's the interest of the Mithril Mine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, going back to the mummy thing. I also, of course, think of the amazing masterpieces that are the mummy and what was the second Mummy movie called? I just kind of call it like Mummy 2. Is it The Mummy Returns? I think it might be. In my brain, it's just The Mummy. It's the one with The Rock. The Scorpion King, which is also its own movie. Look, I still say the first Scorpion King movie is actually not that bad. It's not that bad. I think it's fine. And, and hey, the, the Mummy movies are also like, I'm sure you could, I'm sure there's arguments that they're not that great movie-wise. I like them. They're good popcorn movies. They're funny. They're entertaining. What a movie should be. At least that kind of mo movie, right? And I think Scorpion King's not that bad. Now, I have seen one of the many direct-to-home video uh, <laughs> ones. Those couldn't get through that one. It's a prequel about him being a kid, and I just, no, I didn't even finish it. <laughs> All right. So how do I get past the boulder? I don't think the canoe is going to be very helpful. <laughs> just canoe our way through a boulder. Uh, can I interact with it? Nope. Hmm. Well, the answer's got to be here because I can't go any further. Hold on. This town has been de-ghosted. So maybe they have something? Thanks to you, I'm back to... No, that's just the guy I... Oh, no. Come on, give me something. Blew me through the Snake Valley, but it's been blocked by a huge rock since the earthquake. I know this. Oh? Well, yeah, we already knew that, too. Yeah. Hmm. I'm guessing that button was basically invisible in the original. Maybe. Taka's the finest blacksmith around. He lives by himself in this very house. Aha! I've been thinking about that boulder that's blocking the way to Kanan. Reckon if my airship had a mithril pr uh, prow? What's a prow? Huh. We could bust through. Let's say no more. I'll get one ready for you in a jiffy. Can I see what it looks like so I know what it is? All done. No need to thank me. You saved the town, after all. This is to show our appreciation. Oh, cool. To show appreciation for me saving the town, you give Sid something. 
But if I get to keep the airship, then hey. What's a prowl? All I can think of is plow, just because it's a very similar word. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's just a big drill. Let's give that bothersome boulder a good old fashioned whooping. Oh, I could probably just fly into it, right? Yeah. Um, did we just crash the airship? Uh. Saves the name. <laughs> I think we just busted the airship. Oh, man. So we get an airship in the first, like, ten minutes and then lose it. Awesome. What? Oh, it's a mandrake. Oh, that means they scream, doesn't it? Dude. I'll make potions out of you. Oh, potionomics. I kind of miss it. I mentioned potionomics was like, it's a fantastic game to play the first time, but I had no real feeling to ever play it again. But, I don't know, maybe I will play it again someday. Thing is, I already kind of did what I needed to do, though. I broke the game. I got max money twice over. I had like two million by the end of the game. Once you break that game's card mechanic and get like a really cool deck going, it's just so much money. Maybe they'll make deals. Ooh, what if there's DLC for Potionomics? Or again, what if they make a new game called Poisonomics? Thanks for all your help. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Come to think of it, if I could put together another airship, I bet you could put it through its paces. We'll need to make a few design improvements, and no one knows more about that stuff than King Argus. You should go see him. Thanks again. Come back to visit any time. Bye, Sid. I'll see you in every other Final Fantasy game. I think. Okay, is there any Final Fantasy Shepherd. past two that doesn't have Sid? Let's see. Four. I'm not going to spoil who Sid is in each game. I'm just going to say, like, yes or no. Four. Yep. Five. Yes. Six. Yep. Seven. Oh, yeah. Eight. Yep. Nine. Uh-huh. Ten. Mm -hmm. Ten, two. Twelve. Yep. Thirteen. Yes. 13-2 and Lightning Returns, I think, no. 15, yes. All right, we got Sleepy Room. What's in here? First, that scoundrel Desh turns my Selena's head. Then he helps and leaves town. Said he had something to uh, find in a hurry. My Selena's has my, wow. My Selena has always been a sweet girl. Now the poor thing cries herself to sleep at night. Hey, I found a mallet. Oh, Dash, I'm so lonely here without you. We traveled south to Dragon's Peak where the dragons roost. I miss you. Ah, thank you, game, for the exposition in between the dialogue. South, huh? I've never been myself, but they say there's a gnome village in the forest down south. Hmm. Wait, didn't I already? Who has? Oh, it's because he has a, a shield. That's why. That's why. Also, there was a bow and arrow, but I have really no one that can use it right now. Technically, Miss can use it, but rather just have her smack things with a sword. Oh, I'm a dancer, can't you tell? Want to see me dance? Do we want to see her dance? I feel like it'd be impolite to say no. Oh boy. 
Wait a minute. Isn't this music? What is that music from? No, I'm good. It sounds familiar. All right, we both have Cure. I'm gonna get a Thunder for Mist. She can have all the elements. Oh, these are level two. Okay, that's good. Uh, Thunder, these are expensive. Oh, these are expensive. But I have nothing else to buy in this town. Wait, maybe I do. I looked at the weapons, didn't look at the armor. Uh, same stuff. Okay. All right, missed. I'm going to buy you magic and maybe I should switch her over to black mage for now because I haven't used it yet. Well, I know for a fact we're getting to a part in the game where I'm going to have to do that. So I might as well just wait to that for that. All right, I'll get her a thunder and a poison. I should probably get one for me. I could do blind just to just to once again take a not so great thing for myself. Hmm. I can only afford one. Hmm. I should have gotten a fire for myself. I should have gotten a fire for myself, but oh well. In fact, I'm probably going to need it. Rather than get a level two, I'm going to go back and get a level one. I have more charges of it anyway. Arrow is a white magic spell that lets you manipulate the wind to damage your enemy. Flying monsters hate it. What the? Did that hurt us? It did hurt us. Rude. An elixir? I'll have that till the end of the game. Maybe. I did say I want to use stuff. Oops. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Oh, but I have to walk back because I don't have this. Oh, I don't have the airship anymore. <laughs> All right. What is that? It's like a Ninja Turtles character. Oh. Julie got the last hit. Yeah. All right. So I think down here. Oh, yeah. I'll get a fire for myself and a blizzard for myself. It's all being more useful. No, not that one. No, you get the level one spell. Oh, no more spells can be learned. Wait, what else do I have in slot two? Oh yeah, I have Cure. That's right. <laughs> Stupid sleep. Oh, sleep is so bad. Hold on. Better. And then Mist shall learn Thunder and Poison. Oh, when you unlearn a magic, it goes back to your inventory. It doesn't destroy it. That's kind of cool. Well, since I have it. Here you go.
Yeah, they're back. So once again, I don't know how to tell with the whole job level. Okay, what is max job level in this game? You would think it would be single digit, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I want to say like 18 or something, like some weird number. Maybe it is nine. I doubt it because we're just starting, but yeah, there you go. White Mage 10. So I, I wish I could see like the benefits of these levels. Maybe max is also 99. <laughs> God, that would take forever to max out classes in this game. I believe it's also based on what you do in battle. Like, if, if you do like certain, what are considered class actions, a certain amount, I believe you level up that way. So there is a way to kind of like cheese it a little bit. I think defend counts. You can get down to one enemy and defend like four or five times and then kill the enemy. And I believe you're guaranteed a job level up, no matter what you're fighting. All right, so what are we doing now? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, And it feels weird not knowing where to go. Use the mini spell, you can turn into a gnome-sized version of yourself. I sold my last one to a young man named Dash. Traveler named Desh wandered hydrate. in town. Oh, hydrate. Uh, wandered in town recently, but he didn't stick around. I'm not sure where he was headed. Apparently south. But yeah, I'm, I guess I just go south now. Oh, just right here. <laughs> Uh, hello? Who are you? You look kind of tough. Dragon's Peak. Mm, little baby dragons. Bum 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 boink. So these guys are actually doing more than one damage to me, which tells me I could probably get a level or two off of them. Oh, I'm petrified. Oh, well, Mist is. No, Mist has been turned to stone and still gets experience. And I have no gold needles, do I? Nope. Uh, is love, and apparently the hardest emotion to control, so very few star powers exist. Huh. Oh, that's right, isn't there, isn't there like a, a villain, somewhat villain, named Star Sapphire? And they're a, I believe in the cartoon, there is, Star Sapphire is a character, but they never touch on the fact that she has a pink ring. They just call her Star Sapphire and don't bother mentioning the fact that, you know, she's part of that group. They probably didn't want to introduce like all the new lantern stuff in that show. <laughs> Forty gill. Mm. Now, does this somehow get rid of petrification? Just resting? It does not. It does not. Oh. Well, I might as well buy a few of them. That's all my money gone. Every time you get petrified, you have to spend a hundred gill on a gold needle to fix it. 
and Miss is not at full health. Because she was a statue when we rested. It's fine. Oh, if you're asking, like, which one, which one, which ring would I have? Uh... I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, the fact is, not everyone in the world is one of them. Most people are none of them. That's the point. <laughs> After I watch Unsolved Mysteries, I, 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 have, I have a yellow ring. I have fear. But the fear is weird. Fear is a very weird one. Because when you have a yellow ring, you want to spread fear. You use fear as a weapon. Now, yes, technically, green lanterns use willpower as a weapon, because that's how they form their constructs. But they also feel willpower. Like, they feel it. it they draw from it. But fear has, like, two sides to it. You want to spread fear and use it, but you yourself don't feel it. You're using it. That's a weird one, because like all the Red Lanterns are super angry all the time. And it's just fear is like the weird one because they don't feel fear. That would just make them not be able to do anything. Bum, 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 bum. All right, please don't. But how is the chance of petrification? I would hope it's low. having to buy those things all the time. I'm... Oh, look, Kinnison, I know the joke is that you're terrible, but... <sighs> yeah, I did something. Yay! Well, the thing about the red one, though, is they're almost uncontrollable. That's the problem. They're almost like having, it's like, almost like having a black ring because the black ring is a zombie. You're basically like anger zombie. <laughs> Although I'm sure there are some that have more control over it. It just seems like the ones that I've, the very few that I've seen in like any kind of media are always just like Hulk smash. Oh. Oh, it's a rock. Or is or in this case a rock? Julie's getting the most hits, but unfortunately she's also the weakest me melee wise, so it's not really doing anything. We can drop a key on Urban. But when I did, uh, there was actually, there actually used to be a Green Lantern show. I think it was pretty underrated. It was CG. And they actually ended up tying it into the Young Justice show. I'm not going to say how in case you actually want to watch them. But the Green Lantern show only lasted like two seasons. You know, I think Young Justice is actually pretty good. I like it. I feel like the, the animated DC stuff is pretty good. Usually. And when it can't, like, I kind of like the idea of the Blue Lanterns. It isn't so much hope as, again, like, the idea of, like, seeking knowledge. And no, I keep saying that, but it's, it seemed to, the way it sounded, Blue was based with hope. But it also seemed like they were the ones who were kind of, like, searching for answers of the galaxy, kind of. Kind of like both. I guess in searching for hope, you're also searching for answers. So... So in that sense, I kind of like blue. It's almost like just exploring. Ow. Oh, wait, 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 well, magic can miss in this game. Oh, 
Here, use one of your cures because you're not as good. Yeah. Oh, I got Arrow. Which is great because it actually gives my white mage an option. Because it's a white magic. I can learn it too. But I'd rather give it to the person who is going to have more charges for it. And it's just better. There's also some cool stories in the comics about how uh, the, the lantern rings are given out to other people in times of, like, need. Like, the Black Lantern Corps stuff, where different characters get them. Like, obviously, like a character like Scarecrow is obviously going to be given a yellow ring. <laughs> That's cool. Bum, 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 bum. Uh... Please don't cast fire on me. Yeah, I feel like Batman could go a lot of ways. I feel like Batman could use a lot of them. Like, I know he's used a Green Lantern ring probably on more than one occasion and is good with it. The whole willpower thing. But I can definitely see him using a yellow ring, too. What are the color? Would he use blue? I mean, I guess Batman would have a lot of hope for the future, right? Otherwise, why would he continue to be Batman? Hey, uh. <laughs> oh, good. Baby dragons that want to eat me. Grok. I see that moving. What's that? Whoa! How the heck did you guys get up here? Wait, don't tell me. You got captured by the dragon too, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> losers. And that's rich coming from the dragon's next meal. Touche. I guess you're right. My name's Desh. I'm Kennison. Gotta be up front with you all. I've got amnesia. <laughs> Okay, well, it wouldn't be a JRPG without that. Can't remember a thing except my own name. I know that I came up here for a reason. I just don't remember what it is. To not be eaten. Uh-oh, my dragon's back. Hide. A dragon attacks from the sky. We won't stand a chance against it. We gotta run. Run, run for your lives. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, Bahamut. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Mist. Dude, that was close. Dead Mist next to me. Come on, let's get out of here. Agreed. Here, you can have this. It's a spell called Mini. I don't think I've got the magic know-how to use it anyway. In exchange, mind if I tag along on your journey? Uh, sure, I guess. Good, then it's settled. Glad to know you all. Received a mini from Desh. Desh joined the party. Let's get going. We can we can jump, okay. <laughs> we love jumping off stuff. Uh, like into things, don't we? Or off things. How'd we get over here? Oh, we're like on the other side of the mountain range now. We can't even get back. Oh, Mist is, oh. And not only by jumping off of that, did we jump like a million miles away, but Mist is somehow li alive now. <laughs> hmm. I'm a gnome from Tozis Forest to the south, here to draw water from this magic wellspring. 
You're welcome to pay us a visit, but you'll need to cast Mini on yourself first. We can't have big folks smashing the place up. The only place I can go that where I'm tall. Uh, let's see. Sure. All right. So, put up there. Hmm. How do I get in there? Oh, I see another circle there. I'll try that out. Do -do. See, as a kid, I always liked marble stuff better. But DC stuff is interesting, too. It was kind of nice sometimes, because I... I was so immersed in, like, marble stuff all the time. I mean, we have the MCU now. But back when I was in, like, elementary school, it was just, like, more like X, the X-Men cartoon, the Spider-Man cartoon... There was a person who worked at the after-school place I went to who collected a lot of comics and both all Marvel. So it was just like all Marvel stuff. So whenever I got a taste of DC stuff, like the DC Justice League show, the animated one, it was cool. It was different. Is this just nothing? No. Well, I know I need to be mini. I know that one. I only have two uses of it. Luckily, I can do it to the whole party, though. So, okay. Oh, I... Oh, oh hold on. No, 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 no. I know what to do. I was going to ask, why is this here? Why is this here? If you get full healed once you get knocked off the mountain, why is this here? What's the point? Besides having a place to heal if you're like leveling up. This is why. Yay, we're little mini versions of us. And when you're mini versions, um, physical attacks are pointless. So I can switch Mist over to Black Mage finally. And then I can actually rest here and get all of Mist charges because I wouldn't have had that otherwise. Unfortunately, Aura is kind of screwed. Not only does he have no magic, but he's also a monk that has, like, bad defenses. So he can't even, like, just be, like, a body that gets hit. <laughs> well. I can switch him to Onion Knight. <laughs> I wonder who has better defense. Eh. Now, one thing I will do. Back row with everybody, so we take less damage. Unfortunately, Aura is going to have nothing to do. And we have to use up all our charges when we're fighting. Oh, look at this, little minis! <laughs> no, not that one. What was this one? Status, okay. Oh, oh, oh! I don't want that one. Oops. Um, is he in between me and Desh? Okay. We have all our charges, and we are set to go. So I have, I know this part of the game. I just, I know you have, there's like two parts, there's like two or three parts of this game where you have to be minis. I am not going to waste my spells on these guys. It's cool the first time, the idea that you have to mini yourself and go through like a little mini dungeon, literally mini dungeon, to only use spells is cool, but... I see the argument of the game forces you to use certain classes at certain times. I still think it's cool the first time, but. Yeah, I know this music. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Got a familiar face among a uh, lot of you. Yeah, we're new here. There's a tunnel that runs through the Miranos Range. You can use it to get to Mirak Miralka Basin, home of the Vikings. 
Vikings, huh? Need an antidote. Sorry, no antidotes here. That hit the spot. Something I ate really didn't agree with me. You saved my life. In return, I'll tell you about a shortcut to Maraca Basin. Just take the stairs over there. They lead to the straight to the secret tunnel. Not just yet. I want to look around. Also, I should have farmed some money. There's maybe some stuff I could buy here. Yep. What does this do? Is this does this get rid of mini or give you mini? I don't remember. Oh, you can just buy all the magics in the game here. That's convenient. Let's sell some stuff. I don't need two of these swords. Now, I could... Well, it doesn't matter. Physical attacks are useless in here. I was going to say, what if I make Aura an Onion Knight again and give him a Mithril Sword? Eh. Can you sell stuff that's equipped? You can, but it's not equipped anymore, so... Don't need long swords. Don't need daggers. Well, somebody has one. Hmm. Eh. Well, I, I, I gotta be careful here. Mist is now a black mage and not a warrior. I can't sell everything because I might need it for her warrior class. I know I don't need that. Or these old leather caps, or at least one of them. Don't need the vests. I don't need the bronze bracers. But yeah, this stuff is for mist, the ones that, that are available to sell. Okay. Kind of want to get arrow for me as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I have one. <laughs> I have one use of arrow. Awesome. Okay. Let's, uh... We're gonna have to come out of here several times. Again, because of the whole... I can only use magic, and I'm gonna run into... Oh, I found... All right! I didn't know I could... Okay. Hey, Julie. One use of Kira as a just-in-case spell. Mithril Rod. Mithril Bracer. Yep. Okay. And does anyone need a... Mithril Bracer on Mist. I'm going to keep my shield so I don't die. And give me that back for better magic. Yep, this is one of the this is one of the two or three places in the game you have to be minied. Again, cool concept, but I can see why people wouldn't oh, immediate ambush. Oh, the battle music changes, too. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, fire. Cure, since we took some damage there. Not much, though. We're just cure... Punch for, like, one damage, and then... Mist, the first time missed using black magic. Pretty good. Why is everything like woodwind when we're mini? <laughs> kind of interesting. Do -do 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 
because this is a remaster, I'm wondering if this is if if the game is going to be a little easier in the mini dungeons. Maybe I don't know. Maybe like crank down the encounter rate a little bit. Zerd, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a one damage punch. I just I'm curious, but I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's gonna be one. Ow. not fair. Why are their physical attacks decent and mine are nothing? Okay, we can double up on him. Bum -ba -dum. Yeah, we're already, we're already out. I'm going to imagine there's more to it, though. Yeah, this is like a little mini door, probably. Or is it? Oh, okay. all right. Do I have to be mini to be in here? I don't know. Do I have to be mini to go in here? Or is this like a normal one? And then I have to be mini again to leave. Oh. I can't really test it because I have no way. I Well, let's try this. Let's try this. Quick save. Magic. I think if you use mini again, it... Yeah, okay. Yep, you don't have to be mini And I just save one use for mini and we're good. But doesn't that mean I can get stuck? What if I didn't have any mini uses left? Wouldn't I just not be able to go back home? There's going to be a shortcut probably through here to prevent getting stuck. That wasn't bad at all. I'm assuming the next time we have to do a mini dungeon, it's a lot longer, but... Now I could switch Mist back to Warrior, but I would lose all my magic. So I'll just leave her as that for now. Pirates? Other oh, Vikings. I, I mean, you're pirates. You look like pirates. Uh, pillages of the open sea are, or well, we used to be. A wild old sea dragon showed up after the earthquake and wrecked all our ships. All but one, the Enterprise, of course. But we can't set sail with that monster still out there. Just rest in me eyes. Uh, R. Oh, this is Grog. <laughs> of course it's Grog. It's the only thing holding me together. A Viking ain't a Viking unless he's sailing the ocean waves. And that's built into the cape is Nepto Tap Temple. Pops ought to know more about it. Ask him. This boss ain't got a clue how to handle the sea dragon. How's a Viking supposed to fight a sea monster like that? I don't know. Uh, purple mage? What can I do for you? Oh, just he's purple mage. What is purple? What is a purple mage in the world of Final Fantasy? Wouldn't that be a cross between maybe like a black mage and a red mage? Because black, it's called a black mage, but they wear blue. Blue and red makes purple. That would be a red mage that's instead of being like 50 50, they're like 75 25 spells physical. I'm reading too much into this. Technically, there is such thing as green magic. In Final Fantasy XII, they split stuff like protect and shell and reflect, whatever it is. Protect, shell, reflect, and then some other stuff into what's called green magic as like pure support magic. Didn't really amount to anything. They just It was just a label for it. Thank you. Mm, is there going to be some frog business here? I'll, I'll get a couple. A 40 gill? Eh, that's not that much. We're staying at the Viking Hotel. Hmm. Cannonballs? get on the boat right now if I were you. Everyone who sails along the coast gets attacked by the sea dragon. Must be the legendary Nepto dragon from the temple. Some other explanation. Looking for the boss? That's him over there. 
he's become a total layabout. Nar, now I've tried everything, but I'm all out of ideas. I just can't win against that sea dragon. If you get rid of that monster, I'll give you anything. I'll give you the Enterprise. We got a deal. You'll give me your pirate ship. But the whole point of getting rid of the sea dragon is so you can use your ship. But if you don't have your ship, I mean, you know what? I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to let it go. I ain't boarding the Enterprise, even if it's seaworthy. That sea dragon will just come after us. Can I just can I shoot it? Oh, <laughs> Ah, I'm a pirate now. <laughs> oh. Hmm. So if we get onto the boat, we'll just be attacked immediately. I'm guessing it'd be like an unwinnable fight where we just have to run. Let's just go to the temple. A bug bear. <laughs> Huh. Kinda wanna save the spells. Oh, they're all they're all in the back part. They're all in the back row. I need to get them out of there. Not you. Or or you. Nice stabs. Well, of course, nice stabs. It's Mist. Mist likes to stab things. That's kind of where the Moogle uh, stab emote comes from. <laughs> Nepto Temple. <laughs> this looks safe. It's a statue of the Nepto Dragon, but one of its eyes is missing. It seems to be a tiny... Oh, I got a mini again. <laughs> That's fine. Well, good thing I didn't mess with Miss stuff then. Okay, everyone. It's miniaturized. Let's go! The party enters through the dragon's eye socket. Lilliputian? Alright. Uh, just double up on fire. I kind of expected... I kind of expected the mages to have better magic defense. They're taking a lot from that magic. Oh. <laughs> Which one do I go down? Dash, what do you think? If you fight while miniaturized, you gotta use magic or you'll find it t uh, tough going. Black mages know a ton of strong spells. Which way do I go? Which, which way do I go? Okay. Well, you're looking this way, so. Shell armor? Shell armor. Well, no one can equip it, but once Mist becomes a warrior again, she probably can. Oh, and it's Shell Hell. Okay. Bloodworms. Anyone take a big hit? Not really. Do that. Kind of overkill, but. <laughs> Aura doing his one damage per fight. Oh, I got poisoned. That one damage, hey, that's the reason why that one died, though, right? That one damage. 
This should kill both of them. You are going to kill yourself before you die. Leveled up. Yep, red mage stats. Okay, we got a little beat up on that fight. Um, use up our potions a little bit here. We need to buy more of them. Well, Desh did pick the right way by looking left. Serpent sword. Now that sounds fun. Not right now, though. What is that? Hmm. Try a blizzard, see what happens. Rather than attack physically for one damage, I'm just gonna defend. I know it doesn't help against magic, but if they do physical attacks, I'll take less damage. It's less curing I have to do. Miss leveled up. All right, same thing. Hopefully, I can heal before I have to do some kind of boss fight because I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm not doing too bad. I just don't want to run out of spells. And fire, yeah, magic kind of hurts. Good job. Oh, hello, boss fight. I'm assuming. A giant rat! No, no gem for you. I'll nibble anyone who tries to take it. Giant rat. <laughs> nothing special, nothing fancy. Giant rat. I don't need to do that yet. Uh, nah, just a thing for me. Thunder. Good damage. <laughs> Stop picking an aura. He can't fight back. Boy, I love that magic can miss in this game. You see, you spend your, you spend your, your, your very valuable charges and you miss. That's not a fun feeling. Uh, I just do this. Add a thunder. Oh, you have Fyra. Ow. Mm. Add a Cures. Arrow does uh, wind damage. It's supposed to be against flying, but I have nothing else to do. So. Thundara. Okay. No more magic for me. Defending is useless against magic. I'm just going to do two or three damage per turn. It'll add up, right? What are the chances I actually kill him with one of my little one hit HP attacks?
Well, Mist, you are our DPS right now. If you run out of magic, we're dead. Keep Mist alive at all costs. No one really... Well, I can heal Julie. It's like, I don't want her going down either. It did exactly her HP. Exactly. Well, Julie's dead. Can't heal. Ooh, all right. Julie, no HP, or uh, XP, unfortunately. But we won. Ah. Uh, hopefully I don't have to do something after this because Julie's dead. <laughs> I might not even be able to get out of here. I have no healing. Hey, time to run away from all fights. Bye. Oh, there used to be a mechanic in this game where if you're trying to run, your defense is at zero. So if you try to run and get hit by something, it really hurts. It made the thief better. I think the thief has a better chance of running away. I read that, like, the Thief's runaway ability is kind of useless now because it's not that bad to run away, as you saw. But when, it, when back when your defense used to be zero, it probably mattered because you would be able to run away, like, instantly. That's one of those examples of... They rebalance a game by, like, changing a mechanic, but then don't... Then forget to, like, balance something else to kind of compensate. Again, making the Thief's runaway ability like not as good as it used to be. Preemptive strike, that means I can run away immediately, right? Okay, yes. Look, this should be a JRPG law. In any JRPG, if you have a preemptive strike, you should be able to run away immediately. That is not always the case. I think I should go and heal first before I talk to the dragon. I get the feeling I shouldn't talk to him yet. Is there a way I can revive a dead person in the pirate cave? Oh, I should probably have unmade. But I can't because the person who has Minnie is dead. We are forever stuck <laughs> as a Minnie. Can I sleep in the bed, please? But this this won't cure my my dead person, will it? Ugh. So I think I'm going to have to go all the way back. I'm already minied, but I don't think I can make the trip back. Here, can I buy a Phoenix down? I can. Well, we have no choice. I will buy some potions, though. Oh, oh, wait, oh, treasure. Hold on, hold on now. Stealing from pirates. All right, we got to get through here in a hurry. No, not a lot of attacks, especially no preemptive or like uh, ambush ones, please. 
Oh, that's gonna tear us up. Okay. Oh. Remember to stay hydrated. Time to potentially waste some potions. All right. Run. Get out of there. Leprechauns. Hey, I saw them. Hey, I saw parts of the movie Leprechaun when I was a kid. They can be scary. I also saw parts of, of several of the different Chucky movies. And as a kid who really doesn't like dolls, I find them. I just always found them very creepy. Not the best thing to watch. Oh yeah, Tangent I was going on a long a while ago. I mentioned Unsolved Mysteries had like I remember it having a bunch of like ghost stuff and alien stuff, but it really is mostly just like regular mysteries, like kidnappings and murders and with a little bit of ghost thrown in. Okay, could you leave me alone, please? I'm gonna go heal. But the reason why the ghost is like with with the creep when when creepy things can be mentioned, ghosts kind of bothers me a little bit. I mentioned this before, probably, but the idea that, um, like, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll just say it. Um, when I live, I lived in a certain house from like 91 to 96, and apparently it was supposedly haunted. I was not told this until we moved. Probably a smart move. You probably shouldn't tell your kid that you live in a haunted house before you're out of there. So the idea of ghosts is like always a thing. And the fact that I don't dismiss anything. It's like, I'm not going to say I don't believe it. I'm not going to say I do believe it. I just, you know, keep, keep an open mind. I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't say 100% they don't exist. Put it that way. Okay. Julie's alive. Awesome. We're still in magic mode. Yeah. Okay. I'll just... Well, we're in the back row. Yeah, we'll just... I remember being mostly murders? I, I Maybe I just happened to catch the episodes. Also, again, as a kid, I don't... D murder's murder. Look, as a kid, I didn't... You know, that's, not, that's, that's not scary. Pff. But then it's like, oh, spooky ghost. <laughs> All right. Mini time. I should have done mini first, so I would have one more use of it. Oh, well. Shepherd. The belief that ghosts will follow you or that it depends. If the place is haunted, they shouldn't go with you. Right? Like if it's like a haunted house because they died in it, they shouldn't follow you. But if it's like some kind of like idea that they're not they're like basically they're haunting you. <laughs> if for some reason a ghost is haunting you, then yeah. I think I think most of the time the idea is if it's a haunted house because they died there or like were killed there, they're not going to follow you, which is a good thing. You hate the battle music, but why? Why do you always hate battle music? <laughs> what about the one in here? The one in here is made more symphony-esque. Maybe you won't hate this one. So I want to use up my magic. I, I kind of need to start level. I, I've been running a lot. I should probably level up a little bit. Just defend. Not sleep. Ow! Would you stop attacking the same person? There's three other party members. Attack them.
da 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 I'm almost dead. da 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 More leprechauns. No, I only did fire to one. I tried to do it too fast. Miss. Good. Well, that leprechaun is definitely dead. I murdered that one. That one's gonna. That leprechaun ghost is gonna be haunting Mist. I don't think she cares. Okay. And death. Well, Ninja, one of these days we'll find a, a battle theme in an RPG, like a normal battle theme, that plays all the time. That, that's good. Hmm. I'm trying to think of one. Well, newer games tend to have more symphony sounding stuff. Like, maybe like a Final Fantasy. Well, I don't know. Final Fantasy 15 has. I don't think you like that either. Maybe like Lost Odyssey. I like that one. Or even like a Chrono Cross. Chrono Cross stuff has more of like a Caribbean sound to it. And the battle musics really don't have that. But they definitely sound different than like most other JRPGs I've played. I like it. I don't have to be mini anymore, except I don't think I have to go back into the dragon because I got his eye. I think, I think we're good to unmini, but then we have to mini to get back through that area. Yeah, I'll just unmini. I will still stay as a black mage, though, so I have spells. But, well, I could just sleep here, I guess. I could switch back to the... Well, I'm having fun of having Mist be a black mage for now. And then fix this. Time for sleepies. There might not even be a boss. The rat was probably the boss, but just in case. <laughs> to the temple. Do, 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 bum, bum. I think I'm gonna take the, the nunchucks off of Aura and see how much damage it does. Can't do it from here, though. He might have already reached this, uh, the, the point where he does more damage punching. Maybe. What? Kennison leveled up, but all the stats aren't the same? What? That's interesting. Agility is 11. But everything else is 12. Oh. Huh. Now to return the Nepto Dragon's eye to its rightful place. <laughs> the canoe. I'm going to shove the canoe into its eye socket. Nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope. It was delayed. Party put the missing eye in the empty socket. It is I, Nepto the Sea Dragon. I thank you for returning my eye. To show thanks, I will kill you now. It is no ordinary gem. It is the vessel for my soul. Without it, my physical manifestation cannot be controlled. By way of thanks, I bequeath to you the Fang of Water. Use it to power 
its power to destroy those obstacles that may block your path. Hey. Water has lost that which once shimmered within. That which caused the great earthquake also trapped the light of the elements deep within the earth. I beseech you, please, restore our light. The Neptune Dragon, the Nepto, uh, ne well, Neptune Dragon, <laughs> the Nepto Dragon resumed its slumber. All right, well, have a good nap. Now we have a ship. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, also in this game, you don't need a dock to be able to land. Oh, look at these. Lo okay. Look at these demon hermit crabs. Actually kind of cool. I could, could zap them, but I only have three of them. Blizzard. Ow! And I missed, of course. As I do. Please stop trying to kill Aura. That did... nothing. What fire? This isn't Pokemon. Fire might not be that bad against them. Okay, yeah. I know there's I know there's two less of them, so it did twice as much, but still. It still did more. Bum bum. Um Actually. Go ahead and cure Aura. And Julie will cure herself. Of an overkill on the fire. Good amount of experience. All right. Again, you can kind of tell when you get to a new area in an RPG. Generally, it's like you'll probably gain a couple levels. Also, they hit kind of hard. So we could go back to now. This is the point where we can go back to where we started right here have access to it. All right. So I don't know where to go. Not surprising, right? Sea elementals. So since we have the wa since we have like water stuff now, I'm assuming water crystal is next. And that's where we'll get some new classes. I can stop being a red mage. No, red mage is actually still pretty viable. So we've already been everywhere here. Like if we land here, we can just go back to previous areas. And it looks like we've pretty much been all throughout here, too. Now, the ship, we can actually take the ship through here and go all the way around. We don't really have to go that way, but go there. So we can pretty much go anywhere. Awesome. <laughs> Which means I don't know where to go. Uh. Aw. Cursed freedom. Oh, here's down. Toggle. Ah, mercy. There's something left here of value, I swear. And please spare me. Not a great sign. Uh, hello? Please, spare the child. Oh, not with the soldiers? My apologies. I assume those brutes were back to finish what they started. 
It took my husband captive, headed west into the desert. Ah, we know where to go now. West to the desert. It bore the crest of King Argus. Pray that my husband is unharmed. Please let him still be alive. Although I could be in the wrong place, and maybe we're going there way too soon. I don't know. Oh, they're back. Are they nicer now that we, uh... Nope. <laughs> There's a monstrous evil roaming the western desert. It's a huge tree. A tree that moves on its own, I tell you. One of the soldiers dropped this banner after they attacked our village. It bears the crest of Argus. King Argus? That can't be right. Beyond the desert, far, far to the west, is a village full of eccentric people who claim to be descendants from the ancients. Whatever that means. Hmm. Not much here. The mayor of Toko lives here. If you want to know about our plight, you should ask him. I'm the mayor of this town. We've been beset by soldiers coming from the western desert since the quake. They seize our food supplies and capture our able-bodied citizens. The town is on its knees and there's nothing we can do to stop them. There's a hidden staircase in the hearth that leads to a store room with a weapon and a few other things. We're peaceful folk with no one is that and no one is prepared to fight. Please take whatever you need to save our town. Don't mind if I do. Genpoki? Hey, something for Ara. I'm assuming. Yeah. If any class in this game is going to wear a gi, it's going to be a monk. All right, got to... Hold on. Got to do my typical... Oh, reposition in my chair. Ow. This chair sucks. All right. So we need to go west. The Reapers are here. Oh, M. Hello. Playing Elden Ring. Yes. I was lurking because I plan on playing Elden Ring someday. So I was like, I have to avoid the spoilers. Hello. How is the randomizer going? I'm not sure how much it randomizes, but. But hello, everybody. We're playing some Final Fantasy 3. Th today is my first stream in like a month. So. Getting back into it. I have no idea where I'm going. If you've ever played a JRPG, blind, you know this feeling. I think we go west, but I'm not sure. Oh, I push. Uh, I think that probably cures or inflicts Berserk. Increases attack speed. Oh, never mind. It's cider, not... Okay. Bacchus wine, I think, is what I was thinking of. Uh, hello, Mel uh, Millennia. I don't pronounce things well. So. <laughs> Apologize in advance for anybody who I say their name. Also, super spoo- Ooh, ooh, spoopy. We were actually talking about spoopy earlier, about ghosts and things. Why is there a giant wig in the desert? <laughs> it's a tree. I feel like I shouldn't be here yet. We were dealing with water, and now this is more like earthy stuff, because the this um uh, hmm, hmm. Oh no. Oh. I probably shouldn't Oh. Oh. I it's it's okay, never mind. We're safe. Bum, bum. Yeah, this is one of the uh, two mainland Final Fantasy games I have never beaten. It's odd that I really I really like the job system in games that have it. And the two mainland game mainline games that have them, I never beat. I don't know why. Hmm. <gasps> Chocobo Woods. Smells like Chocobos. Oh, yep, yep. The storage one. Yeah, I'm good. <gasps> oh, 
Chocobo friend. So we can kind of look around. I don't think you, you don't get you don't get into battles while you're in a Chocobo. So we can kind of just look around. We can fill out the map. Well, I can always get another Chocobo after I do this. Should have done that first. Village of the Ancients. Ooh. Now we are descendants of the Ancients, creators of civilization as you know it. We live in harmony with nature, as is our creed. Did you also happen to build the Stargates? Hmm. Yeah, um, I like Stargate. Like, I feel like when people talk about, like, the big stars, you know, like Star Wars, Star Trek, I, I think Star Trek might be my favorite by a little bit, but only because there's, like, ten different series and, a t and like, at this point, like, a dozen movies, and Stargate only got two series. I don't count Universe, really, because it got canceled after less than two seasons. It really didn't get a chance to even get started. But, uh, yep, I'm a big fan of Stargate. Whenever I was watching M play, uh, God of War, every time I heard Krato speak, I couldn't help but think Teal'c, because it's the same person doing the voice. Let it, oh god, those are, why they're so expensive? Hmm. Get a couple mallets. More of those. Sure. Yeah, but I spent a bunch of money and can't afford anything in this town. Uh, let's go check the prices. We have White Slayer. Joke's on you, I already have one. Serpent Sword, I already have one of those too. Fire Staff, Ice, I, there, why are you so expensive? Oh, I gotta save up for a staff now, don't I? Killer bow, ice arrows. Okay, I believe how this works. I think in the original three, it, you might have had to actually purchase more arrows. They might have been like a finite resource. I believe in this game, once you purchase just one of the arrows and equip it as your secondary, it just counts. You don't have to have, there's no ammo anymore. But since I never played the original three, I don't know. but I have no one that uses a bow right now, so. Also, I'm doing a bit of a, it's not really a challenge, but it's something I like to do because it makes my brain feel good. Every time I unlock a, I have a bunch of new classes, I can only use them on one person. Like right now, I am a red mage. Julie's a white mage. Aura is a monk. And Mist can be either a black mage or a warrior. When we unlock the next classes, we'll distribute them evenly, kind of and go from there. They're also heavily linked to what their characters were like in Final Fantasy Tactics, and kind of like keeping them about the same. My character is kind of a mix of my Tactics character and my 14 character, who was a Bard to start, which means I'll have both Bard and Ranger. And, and uh, my character also has Red Mage, so Red Mage. Also, Red Mage in this game is kind of not good, <laughs> so... Unfortunately, in this game, Red Mage just falls off very quickly. Of course, I gave it to me because the joke is my character's terrible. Uh, headband. Everything is so expensive. I probably shouldn't be here yet. Just based on the prices. Let's just look around. We have a chocobo. Um, okay. We have a free chocobo. We can just look around the map and get a feeling where we like what's around. I do miss Mist being a warrior just because it makes this stuff faster. I'm a hoarder. I don't like to use spells. 
But I'm trying to get her some levels in Black Mage. So. Work. That was weird. Anyone else hear that? The music was like fading out while the while the same music started again. It was, weird. It was overlapping. So is this just, just is this just, just gonna be a giant loop and not have anything on it? <laughs> Also, you may have noticed something. We're floating. We are on a floating island. And that's not the ocean. That's the sky. I do know that much. I know bits and pieces of this game. That is one of them. And something is telling me this outside ring is going to be nothing. Okay. Okay. It's gonna be like maybe you can kind of tell on the map because of this it makes sense there'd be something here because it's blocked off I can use the ship to get there though unfortunately I can't put it on the map I know it's here though let's remember there's a town right here if I take the ship up this way and all the way down here I can get to it And when I say let's remember, I mean other people, because I'm not going to. Oh, maybe something is also right here. Like a cave or something. Nope, nothing. All right. Best track. I can't wait to see a Moogle. Moogle started in Final Fantasy 3. They were kind of in two. They were the giant beavers. They kind of turned the beavers into moogles. All right, we're back here. So. I could just go back to the ship. And go to that one little town we found to at least just get it on the map. There's also stuff up here. I have the canoe. Well, the chocobo can also just go over the water. Anything up here? No. Okay. Uh, something in the water. A little spooky. Lock in this monster. I mentioned before we're, we're uh, in Discord, we're actually watching through Unsolved Mysteries. We're on season three. And uh, I think there was a very short story on one of the episodes in season two about the Loch Ness Monster. It wasn't Loch Ness, though. It was like one of the other versions of it. Ah, uh, what's the Okapoko? Something like that. There's there's a lot of versions of it. All right, so yeah, let's go to that town. Just just so it's on the map. Oh, it, the, that town. That's what I was. Why is there a random castle? In here? Well, I mean, <laughs> killer fish. <laughs> Magic missing is so bad. Having to spend eight, having to spend MP and then miss is terrible. I can see why magic missing isn't a thing in most games. Also, I kind of spoiled something, didn't I? I mentioned I was going to play Elden Ring. Uh, surprise! I actually bought Elden Ring when it was on sale for like 40 bucks. I might, uh... I'm not sure when it's going to be a thing, but, uh... Castle... Oh, I guess it's Castle Argus. Okay. Well, I'll just leave it on the map. That town was being attacked by them? Um, 
Now, obviously, I won't be using the randomizer the first time through. Uh, what if? Uh, what if you did that? Imagine playing through Elden Ring for the very first time and using the randomizer on the first time. Be interesting. Uh, keep in mind, the only Souls game I've ever played is Dark Souls 1. Played it blind on stream. It was fun. Maybe I'll play 2 and 3 someday. I've heard 3 is just like a more fine-tuned version of 1 in terms of mechanics and the world itself. I've heard mixed things about 2. Mainly I've heard either you love it or you hate it. Ooh. I mean, I can't get past here. I guess I can't. I'm stuck in here. But I had the thing that talked about... That talked about... Hold on. Yeah, this said I could, like, get rid of things blocking my path. Uh, Dragon lied to me? Tower of... Where am I? There's so many places I can go. Uh, well, not really. We know there's nothing around this edge besides a town right here. I've already been here and I've already been here. I can land my boat and look on this continent and kind of go through these areas. And go up this way. And that's about it, honestly. There's this town, this town, and whatever's here. Okay. Where to first? I don't know where to go. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's see how bad this place is. If I die immediately, then we know not to go here. Uh, ribbit. So how powerful are you guys? Are you going to destroy me? That's a good sign. The fact that I just destroyed those things in one hit, maybe I should be here. Also, how do you, um... No. No. Why, dash? Isn't there a way to... There it is. Okay, in Final Fantasy 1, there was a way to look at the map closer. I guess that isn't in here? I guess not. Okay. Maybe they felt it was too much of an advantage. <laughs> Kinda is. Shall we dive under? How exactly are we supposed to do that? Maybe we have to become frogs for- oh, no! So I can't go any further unless I have the frog spell. But I don't know where to get it. Where do I get the frog spell? Maybe a town has it? Just, just kill. Julie doing respectable physical damage. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not, I'm not doing much better. Wait a minute. Can, can you get, can you actually equip the, uh, no. Okay. I was seeing if you could equip the, uh, my character could equip the serpent sword. I can. Hey, one of you guys have the frog spell. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm not supposed to be here. I need to find the frog spell first. Maybe this place is how you dispel the how you dispel this thing, which means I don't have to do it for a while. So it's just confusing the enemies in there are super easy. Hmm. 
All right, I'm just, I'm good. When I'm in exploration mode, I don't want to fight stuff. <gasps> Cave. Back attack. Oh, what is that? You know what that reminds me of? Anyone here ever play the game uh, Alien Storm on the Genesis? There's an enemy that looks a lot like that. This game came out first. Chocobo? Yeah, Chocobo. Alright, time to explore. I should have just gone in there first, because I'm going to end up... Yeah. Well... Oh, that's it. Because of the uh, the mountains, I can't go anywhere else. <laughs> Alright. Oh, what's in here? Golgan Gulch. There are so many places I can go. Uh Oh, it's you guys. It's a Golgan Gulch. You should know that we Gulgans are born sightless. However, we make up for our lack of vision with a sixth sense. Some of our kind can even see the future. We serve the Wind Crystal, a source of light, and that those power, and that whose power has been bestowed upon you. Henceforth, you must go to the crystals of fire, water, and earth. They will grant you greater powers than you already possess. I can be better than a red mage. Ooh. The Great Earthquake was only the beginning. The tremors tore the land asunder. The crystals, sources of the world's light, were swallowed into the depths as monsters emerged from the chasms, now scarring the earth. Yet that was nothing compared to the catastrophe to come. I see a future of both light and darkness, but this is by no means set in stone. The living woods, the sentient forest, calls to you. I see a future of both light... Okay, they're starting to repeat now. We stay sequestered away in the Skulch, for those who know the future should not dare to influence fate. Oh. The idea that if you have the gift slash curse of seeing the future, you shouldn't intervene. Interesting. When crimson flames threaten the tower's destruction, uh, he who alters fate, fate's course, will awaken to his destiny. You know 100% that if any human on Earth got the power to see the future... There's no way they would not use it to their advantage eventually. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're only human, right? I mean... Like, that's a power that's just too powerful. I sense the fire crystal's power is centered on the island of the dwarves. Kind of like, uh... The best example I can think of is the sphere... But the idea that if humans were given the power to just create from nothing or have a power like that, it would be disastrous. I've been expecting you. Take this spell and use it to enter the... Oh, here we go. The Tower of Owen to the north. Your destiny awaits you there. Desh? He's talking to Desh, not us. Received a toad. All right, who gets Toad? I mean, it's so lame, it sounds like I should give it to my own character. But Julie's going to have magic for a while. I'm not so much, so. Arrow, Mini, and Toad. Well, to the Tower of Owen. I should probably go sleep somewhere to be fully rested when I go in there. Where is the closest town? I don't want to go to the castle down there because it might be like an enemy place. I don't want to mess with that yet. Also, I need to save money and go back to the town that's down here because there's a bunch of stuff I can buy. Ooh, you look kind of scary, but horsefish? Otherwise known as seahorses, I suppose. 
but it literally kind of looks like a horse fish. My magic's so bad. No, don't put Julie to sleep. She doesn't sleep. She's up all the time. Oh, cursor get her. Cursor check. Yeah, that's right. This town is in ruins. They have nothing. So, I'm probably just going to have to go down here and go to the expensive town. Organs. Since I'm just going to go rest up, I can just use whatever I want. Oh, I've got to get a new chair. This thing's terrible. All right. Oh yeah, I was going to test the uh, Aura's uh, punchy abilities. Let me get into one more fight real quick. And I can see how his punches do. Of course he goes last. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we got to the point where his punches are better. Yeah, just a little bit. It's like he was wearing weighted clothing. Aura has now reached his... He, he wants to reach his true potential now. Just puts down the nunchucks and just punches. All right. Time for Night Night. 120? God, why is this town so expensive? Hopefully by the time I get out of that dungeon, I'll have enough money for stuff. Because there's, um, there's several pieces of armor, and I think one weapon I can... No, I think the weapons are fine, actually. There's several pieces of armor... That, oh, there's the, there's the rods. I can buy the rods that cost 3500 each. They are, they're good because you can use them as, a, as an item, and I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they're the same ones as, as like, in one. Or if you use it as an item, it casts a spell for free. That's handy. But also give Aura something to do when we're in the uh, mini dungeons. Since he has no magic. Lizard Man. Soul Calibur? Soul Calibur, one of the only fighting games I've ever played in my life that I kind of liked playing. <laughs> I, I, enjoy, I enjoyed Mortal Kombat when I was younger, just because it's Mortal Kombat. But after that, the only fighting game series I really actually played was Soul Calibur. I played, uh, I played two a lot on the GameCube, so I had Link in the game. I missed three, which sucks because it had a really fun, like, uh, story mode thing. It was like a top-down tactics game. Pretty cool. You can also make your own character. I got all the achievements in 4 on Xbox. The only time in my life I will ever get all the achievements in a fighting game. Besides Sonic the Fighters. <laughs> I got that too, if that counts. I got all the achievements in like 5 minutes. Alright, we're back to these guys. Um... I don't want to save all my stuff for the tower. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the place to go. Because, you know, we got Toad. And the enemies in here are not that powerful. At least on this first part. So. We're going to be Toads.
for a bit. Oh, we're also our uh, Onion Knight colors, too. Alright, we're frogs now. Let's get going. Can I not be a frog now? <laughs> Please. Unlike the mini thing, where you have to stay mini when you're in the when you're in the place, to toads can't do anything. They hit for one damage. Unless they're like if they're like other Final Fantasy games, they hit for one damage and that's all they can do. And the only magic I should be able to use is Toad. Yep. And we're back. Welcome to the Tower of Owen. I hope you like it here, for it shall be your final resting place. Hey, Dash, you say something? This place... This place looks familiar. Pugmans. Hmm. Again, just save those castings. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, the, no, these guys hurt. Yeah. Because Aura can kill an enemy in here in one hit, probably most of the time, maybe if I do use magic, I should just focus it on one person. That way it's an instant kill. Probably be the way to go. Well, we've already come this far for these guys. I'll just kill them. Wow, Julie did a lot of damage. It's more than I can do. So yeah, I'm I'm a red mage, but I'm actually being out DPS'd physically by a white mage. Kind of shows you how bad the red mage is. I wish it was better. I like red mages. Red Mage in original Final Fantasy 1 is ridiculous because the ma the magic doesn't scale properly. Red Mage is better than Black Mage in almost every way. It can't learn like the the super powerful like level 7 and 8 magics, but eh. they take damage. They can equip better equipment. They do better physical damage by far. They take hits a lot better. They can also have some like White Mage stuff too. Now, in the new stuff, magic scales properly, so Black Mage is just a giant nuke machine. Which is fun. Far Derig? Okay. Not, don't know where that name comes from. Eh. Most of the time in Final Fantasy stuff, the names come from certain things that like you can kind of like figure it out. I don't know what that is. I should probably heal you. Go ahead and use my healing first because it's not as good. <laughs> Ah, oh, you again. Mm. Yeah, we're good on one. I could use arrow, but I kind of want to keep a, a casting. I want to keep two castings of Toad, just in case. And there's got to be a way out of here that's not that way. Imagine not having any Toad left, and then you have to leave the same way. Uh, soft lock? Unless there's a place to actually, like... Get your MP back in here, like a uh, water source. Also, look at the dis look at the difference here: sixteen casts and then four. In Final Fantasy One, it was not that big of a jump or fall, I guess I should say. If I had sixteen of a spell of spell one, it was probably like ten or twelve of spell two. Oh, that one didn't die. Oops, I left them all alive. <laughs> that should do it.
The monk hit the one, that one. So this one, that should kill it. Yep. And then this should kill this one. Yep. Okay. Ooh. more crap when well, missed you probably use a proper heal but Augusty or August guy I, I don't know they kind of look like almost like spiky mutated beholders or bombs I'll drop a group heal. More bombs because they have two eyes. I think. Who's laughing at me? Chat, are you laughing at me again? Wait, I, I remember. I'm an <laughs> This is okay. Look, this is an old game. They didn't change the writing, probably. This feels like so... <laughs> There's no lead up. It's just like, wait, I remember. I'm an ancient. Okay. Tearfing? It's not Tearfing. Tearfing. A slender sword with a piercing tip. Oh, rapier. Okay. Which means it's probably for me? Do I get something new? <gasps> I get something new that actually does has 13 more attack to it. Okay. Accuracy is worse. I'll take it. Yay, new sword for me. Your souls shall wander these sodden halls forever. I remember now. There's a hidden switch on the fifth floor. It's on the eighth section of the wall. Eight on the eighth section of wall from the left. Yep. Ambush! Oh, don't ambush me. That's just ow. And then you crit me. I'm trying to conserve my magic here. I'm just, I'm just gonna... I honestly forget what floor he said. Fifth floor. Isn't this the fifth floor? Yeah. Why not just say this floor? Now I don't know what that did. No secret. Had to go the long way. There's gonna be a boss fight in here. A hundred percent. So I'm just trying to say what I can. I don't know what that switch did. There's no way one of these isn't isn't a monster in a chest, right? Mm. Echo herb. Oh wow, I was fully expecting there to be a monster in like one of those. Hmm. Bring up the strike, you know what that means. Guaranteed runaway. That might not be true. is this place? Ah. I 
I normally don't run in RPGs that much. I'll just fight everything, which is usually a good idea. But on RPGs that I stream, I usually level up, le uh, level grind a little bit off screen. So that'll make up. Plus, I need money. Salomon Sword. Yeah, that's a warrior thing. Which means when, uh, when Mist becomes a warrior again at some point, we'll be good. I'm not sure what classes we unlock next. We'll see. Flame Mail. That sounds like a warrior thing, but I will check. Yep. Hmm. I'm assuming this is an item, one use item. Yep. Oh, hello, Medusa. You kind of look like like fire Medusa. Oh, look, Medusa. I, Medusa, will destroy this tower in the name of Zand. The continent will plummet from its place in the skies. You will not interfere. Now die. Where'd your body go? Bum bum bada bum 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 da I'm assume Blizzard. Well, I don't assume anything. I mean, let's, let's just try him. Blizzard. Ah, you missed. Now, stare is an odd like that's a, that fits Medusa pretty well as an attack, but it puts you to sleep in this game. It doesn't uh, petrify you. Interesting. Ooh, good damage. That wasn't that bad. Also, when my character attacks, that does not look like a rapier. Ow, don't kill me. Interesting. It said it was a really thin sword. That does not look... Maybe it meant thin as in, like, three-dimensionally thin. <laughs> I was thinking rapier, because that's what red mages use, but... not. I'll just keep dropping cures all over the place, since I have, like, 17 of them. They... Wow, Medusa hates me. All right, that's all my thunders. <laughs> Blizzard doesn't do that much less. I mean, unless Medusa can pull out some, like, amazing attack when it gets low on health, we got this. I was really expecting petrification, especially since they've been throwing a few golden needles at us, but... It's missed twice. What if Stare does different stuff? What if it put me to sleep before, but now it that doesn't make any sense, but... Alright. Oh! Oh, there it is! It does petrify. Of course, on the very last attack. <laughs> That's okay. When you're petrified, you still get experience. I think. Even leveled up.
Hey, we did it. I will probably, you know, if it's one of those scripted get out of here things, it'll probably get taken off by itself. But just in case I'm thrown into a fight. Just in case. The flames lick and flare wildly. An explosion looks imminent. No, don't go near it. I, I remember now. I'm one of the remaining ancients, the watchman of this tower. I was only supposed to be awakened if something happened to the tower, but I was asleep for so long my memories were scrambled when I woke up. I forgot my purpose. Doesn't look good. I think I know how to stabilize the flames, but I can only do it from inside the reactor. I have no choice. This tower is the only thing keeping the continent afloat. If it blows, we'll find right will fall right off the right out of the sky. This is farewell. Thanks for all your help. Dash, no, stop. I l no, you're cool. I don't want no, okay. This is my destiny. Don't worry. Once I repaired the furnace, that whirlpool should stop as well. Then you can search for the door of an island. That's where you'll find the fire crystal. Once I'm in, I'll warp you all outside. It's been a blast. Literally. Now then, here I go. <laughs> Dash! We knew you for like an hour. Why did that help? Oh yeah, did you know that the uh, the recipe for fixing a reactor that's full of fire is throwing an ancient in it? <laughs> that's why there's no more of us. Yeah, too many reactors. Okay, how much money did I get? I did run away a lot. Yeah, I should have been fighting more just because of that. Okay. All right. So now we can go up there, which means we can first go to that town I discovered on the right side. So I just don't have to remember where it is. I'm going to do that now. It also mentioned the Dwarven Continent. Where would that be? I've already looked... Here. It's got to be this, right? This little itty bitty. Oh, doors live underground, right? Probably. So there's probably a cave here that leads to the Dwarven land. So that means I can see what's here. What's here. I can land back here where the, uh, the gnomes are if I want. I can go here, which is probably Dwarf land. And more easily get back to this town. Although it doesn't matter. Either way, I get attacked by stuff. All right. Mermaid, why are you trying to kill me? I, I'm a little out of spells right now. Ow. Oh, you're a little tough. Not that. Whoa. Okay. Perhaps I shouldn't be going this way. Ow. Ouch. Oh, nice crit. Thank you. I'll crit you right back. And after this, we're going back to another town. Good place to level up, though. Not when you're dead. Ah, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, their HP isn't that great. It's just they hit hard. And it's not even that much experience. Why did they hit so hard? And back over here we go. No, 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 no. I'm not fighting you right now. So would it be faster to go around that way to the town or just go straight down and walk there? Either way, I'm getting attacked. But the ship does move faster. And whatever, it doesn't matter. The time it takes me to figure it out in my head, it's already not worth it. The time I would have saved is already gone. Hmm. 
You had nothing, so yeah, I have to walk over there. Ambushed. Cool. Oh yeah, I could just put an auto. It does the last thing you did, so if you flee, you can just keep fleeing. Good way to die quickly if you're not paying attention. It's like in Final Fantasy XII, it has that times two and times four speed up, which is great for that game, because it's so slow paced. But um, it's also a good way to die very quickly if you're not paying attention. Yay, how do I... where's dead body room? You dead body room? This world's kind of rough where every town has a dead body room. I could buy some stuff. I got some money. Ooh, sight. Displays a detailed map. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, Kira I already have, although I'd like it on my red mage as well. Teleport is fantastic. Removes blindness. That's kind of expensive, and it's level three of what an item can do. No, thank you. Ooh, the, ooh, the, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, <laughs> I almost have enough. I'm just gonna sell something. That wasn't enough. That wasn't enough either. Come on. Uh, a bronze brace. I don't think I need that. But that's not enough either. Uh, who knows? I might need that. There we go. Okay. Learn. Fyra. Wait, what? That was weird. Blizzara and Thundara. I'll give me sight because it's kind of like a more. Wait, do I have two of the? Okay. No more spells can be learned. It's level one, isn't it? Oh man. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Bye, Blizzard. You can also just swap them out. You could swap the site and use it to see the map, and then swap it back. It's it's an annoying thing to do, but you could do it. Oh. Oh, you already have Cure, that's why. It's like, can you not learn it? Like, you already have it. Got Cura. Cura Teleport. It's annoying that Teleport is on the same one as Cura. You're going to want to use all your Cura up in tar dungeons, but then you have nothing left. You want to keep one for teleport. I guess that's to balance it. Now I have no money. I need money for armor pieces. Oh, I also need money for the inn. <laughs> I have seven gil. I can't afford the inn. I'm sure there's something I can sell for that. Maybe. I kind of want to keep the bow just in, and the holy arrows, because holy arrows seem good. Uh, don't need leather shields anymore, I don't think. I have the shell helm, so I can sell one of those. Probably sell this too, since again, I have the shell armor. Yeah, I'll pay your ridiculous price that does the same thing somewhere else for 40. At least it isn't like Final Fantasy 2 where the price of the inn is dictated by how much HP you're missing. Kind of a jerk move. Alright. So our next journey is going to be to that place on the, on the right. Kinda wanna save all my HP, but I also need to fight for money, so let's just fight stuff. 
which means I kind of want to turn Mist back into a warrior just for easier fights. Well, why not use up her magic? Use up all of her magic and then switch back to warrior. That way I don't lose the charges for nothing. The guitar. I feel like a lot of the, like, if you, you know, like, um, Umatsu and like, they have a group called the Black Mages. Well, they did. I, I don't think they're still a thing. And all the remixes were kind of just like rock remixes, remixes for the most part. So I've heard guitar in a lot of remixes. The, the pixel remasters seem to have gone pretty heavy on like brass and woodwind. More often than not, you'll hear some trumpets in this game. Can use magic. No. Oh, well. Good job. All right, let's go see what's in that town over here. I'm going to save the thunder for the harder stuff we find in the water. A oh, good job. Also, um, if anyone wasn't aware of the Discord thing, we are, I think it's like, I think it's on average, like every other night, give or take, we are doing the Unsolved Mysteries thing. I'll be doing it tonight, probably, probably earlier than usual. Um, I was starting at like two or three in the morning, Eastern time, but I'm trying to like fix my sleeping schedule a little bit. Maybe like go to bed around like four or five and get up at like 12. That's yeah, better. But then we'll be doing some more of that tonight. After Unsolved Mysteries, I'm thinking about doing Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction. I love that show. Uh, yeah, blizzards are fine. If I could think of a random show to bring back, I think I'd pick that. It's a weird one, but it's like out of all the rain, like just like a random, like, not super well-known show. I'd be like, you know what? Let's bring back Beyond Belief. Let's get Jonathan Franks in here and let's bring back Beyond Belief. Here we go. Well, mermaid's back. Mm. Ow. Oh, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Yep, yep, doing fine, doing fine. Again, not even that good experience considering how much I'm getting hit for. Three mermaids, all right. Let's make sure to kill two of them. Maybe. That one's dead. All right, Aura, punch that mermaid to death. Didn't, maybe? Yeah. I kind of like a look at the design. Look at the head. It kind of reminds me of the fish people in, like, DC's Atlantis. Where they have, like, the the different colored eyes and, like, the ears, like, things, and that's, like, the only difference, basically. 
Uh -huh. Oh, I don't want to fight them again. <laughs> I was almost there. Ow! Stop hurting me. All right, Kinnison should be able to finish off the mermaid. That was a weak, oh, they couldn't, okay. It was just some weak attacks. Better. <laughs> Good job, Julie. Just bashed a seahorse to death with two sticks. All right, what is this place? Missile? Sheep! I tend this flock. Good for you. Hey now, I told you not to go over there. What is happening? That's such a handful, but that's the job, I suppose. Come back here, you woolly nuisance. And that's it. No, no, not again. <laughs> I thought you'd have something different. I don't get the point of this animation. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're done again. Oh, more magic I have to spend money on. How expensive is this going to be? Oh, it's only level two and four. Okay. So the game expects you to come over here. You can get Minion and Toad for other people. Okay. Libra. Display HP and weakness. Uh, the Scholar class can actually have Libra for free. It's kind of the only thing it does. So. Uh, we got Confuse. Silence, break, instant kill move, and then we have Blazaga, shade, and that's it. I kind of want Blazaga, but I don't even think I have a charges for that yet. Yeah, we can always come back here later. Now that it's on the map. Oh my, how many years has it been since we've had visitors? Hardly anyone travels all the way down here. I can see why. I mean, uh... <clears throat> Let me tell you all a secret. You know how chocobos love gissel greens, right? Well, that's how to find the leader of the chocobo flock that lives in chocobo forest. Put a bushel of gissel greens by the tree in the middle of the woods. If you're lucky, you may get a glimpse of that big fella. And that's how you store, store items. Hmm. Hey! Can't just traipse all over my prized veggies. Hmm. I'll do what I want. Are you gonna stop me? Huh? Alright, well, you stop me. <laughs> Items. Death House? Yeah, Death House. So there's just magic here. And items. Actually, two item shops. Hmm. Why do you have so many keys? Oh. Oh, that's right! There are locked doors in this game that require magic keys or just have a thief in your party. Thing is, it's easier just to switch to thief and then switch back. Except there is a penalty for it because my character that's going to be a thief is also a mage. So if I switch, if I'm already a mage and I switch to thief and then back to mage, I lose all my, all my charges. So I'm actually gonna keep a couple of these on me. Now, if my thief was on a character that didn't have mage stuff, or just not very often, then then yeah, that makes sense. Oh, can I, um... Can I get in the water? Is there any way into the water? I was thinking maybe I could get up and, like, uh... Oh, no, nothing in there. Doesn't matter. Alright, well, we know to come here for level 4 spells. Well, now we're here. 
Uh, let's go see if that's the Dwarven Kingdom. That's overkill. But I'll be I'll be resting before I go over there, so or will I? Well I can rest there, I guess. Yeah. Or I could just do this. Bye. We somehow run away from them physically while we're still on the ship. It makes sense. Sea Serpent, that's new. I'm not sure if you have to kill an enemy to get into the bestiary, but uh, let's kill it. Going for all the achievements in one was easy because the bestiary, th this game is a lot bigger than one. So it's gonna require a lot more things to find. I might not do all that. I did all the achievements in one because it's a shorter game. Hey, you're back. I'm just gonna run. Actually getting a little hurt here. This better be the entrance to the Dwarven Kingdom, because I don't know where else to go. Lally ho! Lally ho! Now, treasured horns are delicately carved out of ice, but that conniving thief stole one, the scoundrel. How could you let him get away? You gotta get that horn back from that thief. Hurry to the underground lake. Lally, no! <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of funny. Lally, no! The horn of ice was stolen! The horrible villain Gutsko. Gutsko? Alright. You run off to the subterranean lake, but dwarves don't float. How are we supposed to get our treasure back? Ah, we learned a lesson. Dwarves don't float. The horrible villain Gutsko took one of our horns of ice. He went off to the subterranean lake. Okay, yeah. Oh. Ow! That's what an invisible barrier feels like. More stuff to buy. All right, I already have that, already have that. I would like one of these at some point. Tonfas. That are already worse than just my, just, oh, well, those are better, but I can't afford them, so. Okay, I'd like one of these staffs. The staff does more damage than my sword. 28 attack, 20 attack, but, no, well, it also raises my magic ability, okay. Again, we accept, we have stuff to save up for. And more armor. Ooh. Ice Helm is equipable by my red mage. So is the shield. And I need two mage robes. And, oh. Looks like I'm money grinding off screen. There was two ways to go. Treasury? Treasure, you say? Oh, that's just... Oh, but there's a stupid boulder in the way. What I want... I want the treasure. How expensive is this place? It's only 80? God, why is that one town so dumb with its prices? Yeah, we did it. Alright, this way it is. Wait a minute. Shall we dive under? Oh. Okay, we're back to doing frog stuff again. Let's go frogs. Ribbit. And then immediately not frog.
Manticores? How tough are you? Ooh, you. Okay. Doing 80 damage to a physically to a character in the back row. Got it. We don't appreciate ice though. Stop hurting me! That was a terrible punch. What kind of weak punch was that? And why did that do 20? I don't know how the damage works in this game. Gold Needle? Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Bomb. Just bomb. That bombs. Do you guys explode in this one? We'll never know. Okay, an item I can use for lightning damage. Another one. Gee, I wonder if it's trying to tell me something. Hey, Julie. I mean, you're already here, but now you're in chat. You're almost dead. You drop a group heal. Yeah, sure. Do 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 do. I mean, my favorite soundtrack on the um, from the NES Final Fantasies is three. I, I like three better than some of the other ones. I usually rank three pretty high. So I've been enjoying the music. Also, I don't know about the original. I'm assuming not. Sure. But when you're in when you're in one of the mini dungeons, the battle music changes to be more of like a soft symphony sound as opposed to the guitar in this version. I know you guys didn't really like Blizzard that much. Or punches. Nothing likes punches. Okay, that's what I figured. Three hundred gil. Yay, I'm rich. It's like the randomizer in Final Fantasy One, where you'll pick up a chest and it's like two gil. Uh, hello, Swole Medusa. Now, no, not enough hair. It's like a robot with hair and a scarf. That's a stalag. That's a stalagmite, but it was a carbuncle before. Okay. I mean, Merman kind of makes sense. Ow, it's, 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 people stop critting me. Kill it. Kill it before it gets another hit in. Okay, go on. Oh, 
Okay, you're a little scary. Uh... All right, robot with hair. Let's go. Let's go. All right, stay back. Get away from the horn if you want to keep living. What do you look like in... Li uh, yep, actually, you know what? That's... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty metal. <laughs> like big hulking guy with long hair and a snake. Do, 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 do. Ira? Ow! <laughs> Ow! Eleven. Cure, please. Hopefully, Julie goes first before he does. Okay, good. All right, well, now I'm on fire. Ow. I'm going to drop a cure on myself. Well. Hey. Let's start poison. Ow. <laughs> Let's not try poison. Uh. Well then. Did not oh I have one Phoenix down. Ow, I'm on fire again. As long as Aura just keeps punching him, we'll win eventually. Drop one Kira. Drop another Kira. Hopefully I get to go before he does. Let's try poison again. Julie, please don't die. Cure's gonna overkill. Hmm. Poison! Oh, it did damage. Uh, just, well, Julie's not gonna live unless she's at full health. So, and my cures are not gonna get her to full health. Poison again. Ah, well, bye, Julie. Just a thief. Why does he? Why does he hit so hard and have so much health? Ow! Good. Now I'm the healer. All right. You get to use my. You get to live with my crappy healing. There you go. And you're dead. Well. Hmm. I'm down to just blizzard and fire. I missed. Oh, missed lived. Forty-three. There's no point in healing unless he hits me, and then I heal missed again. I should probably just go on the odd offensive here. Arrow. Yeah, I killed him with my crappy arrow. I'm the hero. We did it. Except I have no way out of here. Uh... Mist and I are just gonna get out of here. Julie had teleport, so 
Wait, can Julie use magic when she's dead? Okay, that makes sense. Hmm? Hmm? Wait, what the? Um... <laughs> Why is this, why is the character from Pong following me? Uh... Hmm? This, this is weird. Why don't we actually stop and figure this out? Why are we, okay, I guess we're gonna keep going. Not a Malboro. What just happened? Well, okay. All right. Huh. Well, I'm no longer everything. Um, I might not make it out of here alive. Oh boy. Please run. No. Oh, I'm dead. I'm I'm dead. Oh boy. All right. Well, we managed to get out of one fight. I know they're expensive, but I need to buy Phoenix Downs for this situation. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh. It might have been smarter just to kill one. Oh, I gotta wait. Okay. Wasting more potions. Run! I'm almost out. <laughs> uh, hopefully I don't have to do anything right now. Okay, hold on. Where is the where's the death room? Which one's the death room? Wasn't there a death wasn't there a death room in here? I don't remember. <laughs> um no, that this leads to a rock, right? Just, just the, the rock. Yeah. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. That's where it was. I have every status effect. Ooh, we got messed up from that place. It's still with me. <laughs> it's our horn. You're the best. Now put it back where it belongs, please. Hang on. I'll take down the ward. Lolly ho. Or ho 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 ho. I was expecting lolly ho. But dwarves can't use magic. You can get through now. Just leave the horn on the altar. But, but this thing is just randomly following me. <laughs> Is this where the Horn of Ice goes? Yep, just put her down. Canoe. <laughs> the lid, Patrick. Yeah, what a surprise. Ha ha ha, you fools didn't even notice me hiding in your shadows. Now both horns are mine for the taking. Oh, no. And I just stand there and watch him do it. With both horns of ice in my possession, I can extinguish any flame. The tunnel to the crystal poses no obstacle to me now. The power of the fire crystal will belong to me. Guts go. The great. Oh, it's mine. All mine. 
music. The Lilith is heading for the mountains to the north, in the north. Please, you gotta get those horns back. Could you guys do something, please? <laughs> I already saved your horn once, now I gotta do it again. Hey, Raven. Hello. Oh, I have money. Hold on, hold on. I have money. In the original, I wonder if he was as noticeable. One ice helm for me. One ice shield for me. Uh, can I afford? I can only afford one. Okay. I can. Oh, I can all. Yeah, let's just sell something. I will sell. My old crappy sword. I never did. See, you still know more than me. I have a nice ice helmet. Uh, uh names you nothing. Okay. We are better equipped now. Meow. Do 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 do. do. No, no. Julie once again bopping people with two rods. I still need to save up for one of those staffs. Bum, bum, ba Chocobos. No Moogles, though. I know there are Moogles in this game. I want to see the Moogle. Aura doing pretty good damage. I'm still here. Julie doing not much less damage than I'm doing. <laughs> and I have a sword. I'm actually going to flip Mist back to Warrior. The only person who can actually change classes right now. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see how much damage she does. Nope, that's the joke about that. Ooh, this place looks cool. I mean, hot. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, all right. I don't know what these things are. Cro Crocota? Oh. Purple teeth, huh? Ow! Like Joker monkeys. With horns? Oh, Miss is still in the back row, by the way. Also, she has a fire sword on, and we're in a fireplace. I don't think that's the best choice. That's all I got. It is one of my favorites. I really like uh, Nines. There's a part where Nines changes at one point. I like that one. I mean, it's hard to beat Six, though. Oh, that guy, the, he's dead. <laughs> you're just, you're just dead, dead. All right. 
Yeah, it's hard to beat Terror Theme for six. Okay. I am going to call it here.